have you guys been this past week? I'm good. Pretty eh. normal. Yeah. Existing. Same old. Same old. Yeah. yeah. Sam, you did that one shot with the uh, pasta last night. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, but that was interesting. Yeah, I haven't really played in that many things, you know? So... Cool. They take their roleplay very seriously. It's a, it's a kind of a, it's a very different environment. It was very funny. Uh, there was a moment with Biggie Crabs. <laughs> so that's Biggie where crabs. the quote, the whole thing came from. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I was I got, wondering about was Biggie Crabs. Turning into giant crabs while we were fighting a dragon. You know, as it as it goes. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dude. All right. So, as you guys remember from our previous session, we... Oh, <laughs> my bad. Forgot to introduce people to uh, this week in Dungeons & Devil Fruits. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to Dungeons & Devil Fruits, the One Piece D&D &D for you and me. With me, as always, we have our dear captain, Akisu Blackburn, Micah. What up? We have our shipwright extraordinaire, Chibiusa, played oh. by Siana. We have the the Scrimbimbus himself, Coda, playing as Snyder. <laughs> and my dear co-host, Sam, as Tonga Wirio. Hello, hello. Alright, so for us in real life, uh, we skipped a week, but you know, that, that was along the lines of what our original uh, schedule was. So, not too bad. We're, we're doing good right here. And, let's we're see. We're all here. That's what matters. Yeah. Well, last episode, you guys went through the woods. You found yourself back aboard your ship with a stowaway, Tilda, rummaging through your things, being all... Uh, skibbity bibbity. Oh no, I, I said the wrong word. I think I might have summoned a child. It's too... <laughs> child, could you, could you go? I heard the skibbity was said. <laughs> <laughs> the skibbity has called me. <laughs> I, I have to be very careful careful with my my rizzy words because uh, these these sussy bakas just come out of the woodwork all right but yeah you guys recruited a stowaway uh, kudos to you guys for uh, taking uh, suspicious uh, figures on your ship and turning them into allies oh, I mean, and gotta follow in the footsteps of luffy that's what he does Yep, especially if someone gives him food, which you guys gave her food—a very fine meal. And like, honestly, some of the some good role play out of that one. I really enjoyed oh, how that there. went. What are you cute as up there? It feels like we. Uh, it's hot in here. It's our doors open. We're like, um, we all have a similar, like a similar outcome that we want, you know. So we're like, kind of working together for now, I guess. Oh yeah, for sure. Honestly, I, I got good feels, good RP off that last game, and I, I'm content with it. But moving forward, a, a new day starts. That was the wrong button. That was the wrong button. I hope that I guess that'll set the tone for the whole session. <laughs> anyway, y'all were aboard your ship heading towards town. Uh, Tonga, you had brought up the idea of possibly getting an animal companion for the crew. Yeah, I okay, so I think so. This is a new morning, yeah. So I'll kind of like wake up you know get my gear ready get ready to do my morning fishing and while i'm on the deck of the ship i want to pull rory you know kind of gesture to come here hey rory i have a question for you 
Hey, yeah, Tom. Uh. He, he just kind of like leans and cracks his back a little bit. Uh, get some good rest. Uh, honestly, uh, after sleeping on cold, hard cobblestone and cardboard for so long, it I'm it's taking a little bit to get used to the the, the gentle swaying of a, a hammock. I like it, mm. but it's just like it's so relaxing. Sometimes I don't want to get out of the hammock. I understand that. You don't want to get too soft to the comforts. You'll never always remember your heart, you sleep where you came cloud. from. You, you, you know, Snyder, I've heard of people talking about sleeping on clouds, but like, is it really that soft? I mean, imagine like a, a pillow, but. He says, what's a pillow? Yeah, what's a pillow? <laughs> <laughs> He, he kind of looks back at the uh, like the little bunk area where you guys have your uh, <laughs> all your uh, hammocks, and he just has like this I... this ruffled <laughs> pillow. It's like, okay, yeah. I kind of shrug at this, and I'm like, personally, I prefer you know the the free floating weightlessness of the the ocean to hold me as I sleep. <laughs> so Tonga just canonically just canonically <laughs> just jumps in the ocean for the night just okay, I'm gonna Yeah, he's getting poetic with it. I know, I'm like, okay, Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Rory, I have a question for you. We're gathering quite the little group here, and I was thinking we could use perhaps another little friend. Why don't you take Tilda and head to the market? <clears throat> Maybe uh, we get a okay. owl or something. We're getting a dog? I think we should get a dog. Someone to watch your back. Someone that you could rely on and grow with. Rory starts tearing up just a, just a little bit. I, I, always, well. I always wanted a dog. Like This is going to be the fucking best family I've ever had. <laughs> kind of like all on the top of his head. And I'm like, and it'll be the best dog ever. It'll fight and do things for us and be so useful. <laughs> or, you know, I trust you. You you can make executive posts. Here's not with my I'll give him like twenty thousand berry. <laughs> we just we never hear from him again. <laughs> uh, he's a good boy. <laughs> He takes it as a life. I want you life. to get explosives. I want you oh. to get a pet. And any any leftovers you have, feel free. Whatever you think may be of use. All right, let me just uh, scroll down to a thing here. Because I, I think I did uh, give you guys prices as far as uh, pets go. Mm -hmm. I think the, the dog was 10 or 15. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Chill hound, chill hound, forty-five. Forty-five. Okay, I'll give him fifty. Yeah. <laughs> you give him twenty thousand berries. And goes okay, up to the store. Gonna... Son, you don't have enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dad said I could get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I can see how you got confused I'm like, there. I also feel like if he he could like throw my name around and maybe get some discount or something <laughs> i don't know about that that's a that's a big discount i i see where you got confused because like the the uh, price for the the snow ferrets was close to chill hounds and snow ferrets are 15k uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, i'm like that i can't really remember um yeah i'll give him give him like fifty thousand. And then I also want to, I'm going to pull out like a card from my pocket and he, I'm going to, he's seen me use these before. It's kind of like a, like a dark blue card with like a embossing dragon on it. And he'll know these is like my business cards and like right. my IOUs. Oh, I'm going to stop you right there for a moment. I just have to run to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Okay, okay. Wow, you didn't pee before you started? I'm sorry if uh, my bowels sneak up on me. I'll be right back. Is he alone, handsome? I'm sorry, <laughs> I have to shit. <laughs> I'm like, look, Rory, you gave them this card. 
Don't tell him. You know my bartering. You watched me at work. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> My name speaks volumes around here, Shane. Those are the rogue, right? She can go with him. She'll help. <laughs> she was a dog. I wish <laughs> Orion made Tilda talk like that. She was a dog. <laughs> I, I can only imagine that she has good charisma. <laughs> oh, well, man. Being like a, like a, I don't know, seamstress? I don't know. You think seamstresses have <laughs> yeah, good charisma? Yeah, has to work with people. That doesn't mean anyone's got good charisma. Have you heard Aiden talk? I mean, yeah. But, <laughs> I mean, that's real. I, I would rule that he does have good charisma, though. He's just not very, like, articulate. But everyone likes him. He's very friendly. You talking about Aiden? <laughs> yeah, he just doesn't... Say shit. <laughs> like, is more about your like your presence and how people like are affected by you and stuff like that. Not so much of like how if that's the case, are. apparently my charisma was off the charts because apparently at Job Corps everybody liked me. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Like, I would say Orion. Yeah, I did huge jack character. shit to talk to anybody. Both you got times good aura. Your yeah, vibe is good. <laughs> I stayed to myself <laughs> and played video games in my dorm. And I'm back. Sorry about that. I'll Yo, does Tilda have good charisma? Uh, let me just look at that real quick. Because... I literally just put her stat block together. Damn. It would be like that. <laughs> it do. Uh, us in here, Prime. I don't care about your stupid gaming service. Oh, we need to get a plus two to the charisma. <laughs> uh, she actually does have a good charisma. She's got a plus Let's three. go. She's going with Rory. We were talking about whether or not she had good charisma or not. Yeah. Because uh, Sam was like, she's a seamstress, so, like, she's got to work with people. Clearly. <laughs> I love that's, like, that, that's the line of logic, and it turns out to be <laughs> I know, true. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I have an approximate knowledge of many things. Additionally, okay. she's also, like, a, despite being a very, like, a, a, she's got a very bony figure, but an attractive face. Yeah. And usually rogues are good. That's not how I was picturing her at all. all. It's like a hot brulee from fucking... Ew! Hot brulee? <laughs> 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 brulee is not hot. And that's why I said a hot brulee. Brulee is really that, that one guy's hear me out for One Piece. <laughs> oh my god. One... Y'all nasty. A One Piece character? Hey, yeah. she's not my hear me out. I'm looking it up. <laughs> Some people's hear me outs are fucking weird. I will never hear you out if you say the regenerator from Resident Evil 4. Yeah, bro. People, look, bro, she's not that you bad. In the foot. She, she's a she's a hear me out. I think we're going she's off a on a face. tangent. <laughs> Honestly, I need a whole hear me out podcast. <laughs> anyway, anyway, as we're talking about <laughs> I'm gonna be like. I'm gonna palm his head. I'm like, why don't you take Tilda with you? Ah, making sure, trying to test the waters with her, huh? A little bit. Plus, I think the rest of us have some things we want to take care of. By the time you're back, we should be able to meet up. All right. You'll just bring the whatever you can get and the hound to the ship. Cool, cool. No, that's not Rory. That's, that's just... <laughs> yeah. He like he like leans back, hands in pockets, sunglasses attached to his face. I kind of, I'm gonna I'm gonna look to Snyder. I'm gonna say, how about the rest of us hunt us a wolf boar, and then 
see if we can have a little fun with the TIE Pirates. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, uh, I was wondering, uh, if you're not going to be at back of the ship right away, should, should I wait at the ship, or... Oh, wait, mm. uh, right. Uh, could, could you hand me one of the snails? I believe uh, Akisu has the other one. You can go find her. Probably I'm still asleep. Her. Yeah, she probably put uh, her in. Akisu is just like hanging out of like a a <laughs> massive tarp that was converted into a, a hammock for her that, that takes up like half the room. Her head. Her I'm just like broken. snoring really loud and there's like drool coming out of my mouth. And then, That's how I'm at. He sleeps. Yeah, uh, Rory then, just kind of uh, heads down uh, the steps. All my like <laughs> limbs are like hanging out the sides. Yeah, she's just like, hey, just, <laughs> just it's all out there. <laughs> He's never seen a boob before. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, yeah. it's as pretty as me. He's just like, whoa, okay, um. Here we go, Rory. He just kind of like slaps his cheeks a little bit. Like, mm, okay, we're gonna gonna wake up Akisu, even though is she is like twelve feet of intimidating. Twelve feet of woman. <laughs> woman. I wasn't gonna say it out loud, but that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Rory, stop talking to yourself. I'm gonna watch him. <laughs> and he's just I imagine kind of, he's like walk, saying this to himself as he like walks away. <laughs> and he's just like he just kind of goes up to her and just uh, after just like carefully examining, like okay, how am I gonna do this? And then he just kind of like shoves at your shoulder, and like the, the, the hammer just starts swinging. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's not gonna wake me up. <laughs> So he he's like uh, after that he just takes on like a big stance and uh, stands wide almost like a like a sumo wrestler and just kind of like uh, <laughs> pushes uh, with like both hands and like a one like he tries to like reach for the stomach and one for the shoulder and then like he catches a little bit of under boob in the process and he starts panicking a little bit like holy shit uh, no I, I didn't mean to and then he just kind of like cringes back as like the the hammock's just slowly rocking back and forth. <laughs> What, was it a was it a hard shove? Like a he he goes for the hard shove and like a he just kind of like slips as he does it. But yeah. Oh okay. I'm gonna say that wakes me up, and I'm gonna like jerk up and like almost hit him in the face. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Are we like, oh, let's go on. Are we under attack? I'll fight him. <laughs> uh, uh, no, we're 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 not under any uh, attack or anything. Uh, can can I borrow the transponder snail? Oh yeah, sure. I'm just gonna reach into my booth and pull it out. <laughs> into my cleavage. That's where I keep stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you you hand him your boob sweat covered snail. <laughs> he holds it in his hands, uh, <laughs> uh, wide eyed, and like like a, an almost unaudible whisper. I'll treasure it forever. <laughs> hey, what time is it? Uh, it's like uh, eight thirty. Ew. He goes back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I will for at least another hour or something. Well, uh, see, see you later, Akisu. I'm, when I come back, I'll have a dog. And he runs off. I'm just gonna jump up. I'm like, a dog! <laughs> On a ship? <laughs> <laughs> By this point, he's gone, and you have, like, more questions than answers. I'm just gonna start tearing up. and being like, whisper to myself, I always wanted a dog. <laughs> Papa said I couldn't have a dog. <laughs> Fucking Akisu with a dog is straight like uh, George and Lenny. He's like, tell me about the rabbits, George. They ate so little as mice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to like lay back down, but I'm so excited about the dog now that I can't sleep anymore. And then I'm going to be like, all right, I guess it's time to wake up. We, we got to see this dog. 
And then I'm on the, the deck with Snyder. I'm just gonna hop into the water and start my morning fishing routine. Are we in a new place? You guys are offshore, but uh, like coming in close. Um, to I meant like, did we move the ship? I think we're still like, oh, uh, well, yeah, we're probably back on the, like, probably heading back to the. What's it called? Like the dock or whatever. Yeah, you're, you're heading back towards the island. I've already, like, searched these waters for treasures, right? Yeah, we were in, like, the, the open water where there was nothing really okay. around. This island sucks. Burn it all down. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna go out onto the deck and I'm just gonna, like, sit sadly and be like, There's nothing good in these waters. Tilda just kind of like uh, cocks her head at you. It's like, um, what do you, what do you mean? Like, I'm really good at finding treasures from sunken ships. Well, it, it seems to me it doesn't that seem like it. Maybe, maybe the best thing for you to do is to just what? sink a bunch of ships. Sink a bunch of ships. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. Real time. <laughs> Sometimes modern problems require modern solutions. You're so right. Let's go sink a ship. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> Everyone oh, else on. is like, no. Should we not touch it to ourselves that quickly. <laughs> we like, just got the ship fixed. We are already getting into a sea this fight. Is why, this is why we keep Tilda. She gives good ideas. <laughs> uh, Tilda just kind of like... A... I, I was joking, but yes, I, like kind of, I, I do give people good ideas. Because we're like heading back, can I like trail the ship from under the water? Oh yeah, um, absolutely. Do what? So like, as we're like sailing back to the island, <laughs> like, and I'm like in the water, I want to like follow the ship, but from you know. Under. Oh okay. How many snails do we have? Two. I think I, I have one and you have one. Oh, okay, so it's just two. So literally, like, you have one and Rory has one right now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And let's see. As you guys are coming back, uh, is anyone uh, on lookout? Uh, yes, I will be on lookout while I'm... Well, from my, from my perspective. Yeah, but you can't see above the water. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is for someone above water. In the cockpit, uh, not the cockpit, what's it called? See. Bird's Crow's nest. nest. Yeah, the Crow's nest. Uh, Where's she? Uh, I imagine she's sailing the I ship. Mean, the yeah. Yeah. I have plus three percent. Who's sailing? So. <laughs> we're not sailing, we're just in the cove. He just said that we were heading toward back towards the island, so we're yeah, moving. Yeah. Oh, and I wouldn't be sailing. Holy shit, oh, yeah. it's a ghost ship. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can go in the... Uh, the crow's nest all right so uh snyder uh up in the crow's nest uh, uh give me a perception check siana's just fucking sorry chibi's just uh sailing and she's like i wish i was gardening Dicks. right now yeah I, thinking about gardening. <laughs> I got an 11. Mm. okay with, with an 11 you kind of uh you, you look over towards the island and just uh there's a weird smell on the air, like oh. a like something's cooking, but like it doesn't smell good. Wait, how did Rory leave if we were on open oh, waters? He, uh, he hasn't they're, left yet. Yeah, they're like. Oh, ready. okay. Is it a scent that I would recognize? Uh, let's see. Potentially, it, it's very smoky, like a very like a. Uh, something's burning. Mm. Hmm. <clears throat> I kind of lean over the crow's nest and try to yell down to everybody. It's like, hey! There's a weird smell in the air! Be it's careful! Your ass. I washed my ass! Thank you very much! <laughs> he washes his ass with clouds. <laughs> Clouds are the They're best God's too. perfect little sponges. <laughs> perfect what? Little sponges. <laughs> 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 this 
explains everything. <laughs> Snyder is responsible for acid rain. Okay. Was this one? He, he he smells a, a some a something smoky and burning in the air. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you forgot to add the clouds part. As you get closer, uh, the the smoky scent gets stronger and stronger, and you do start to hear more uh, commotion coming from the town. Oh no. Something has gone awry. I am hearing screams. <laughs> is this like the same area that uh, Rory is at? Rory is still on the ship. I know, but we're getting closer to the town. Oh. Yeah, Rory's like getting ready to Rory's like. Uh, he's getting ready to head off with the docking and everything. So like you, you guys pull into port, and and normally, uh, Chibi, you find this a little strange. Uh, there normally there'd be someone there to kind of like uh receive you and uh, take a, take a payment for like a for a docking fee, but you, you don't see anyone like that around. Hmm. Uh, Tilda and Rory get to work t trying getting the uh, ship tied in and everything. And uh, Rory looks to Snyder's like, all right, well, I'm going to head in. Please be careful, Rory. Seems like the town's on fire or something. Something is going on, and I don't very much trust it. Yeah, um, make sure you take Tolo with you. Um, be safe. Call us if you need it. Will do. Keep an, uh, keep an ear out for the snail. Yeah. The snail. Snail. I'm gonna uh, look out towards the you know the town and say, see if you can let us know what's going on up there. Will do, Snyder, and he just kind of like waves off as he uh, dashes into town with Tilda in tow, and he's just kind of like dragging her along. He's like, I'm getting a dog, yay! Pick <laughs> <laughs> a good dog, Rory. I swear to God, if you get some shitty dog. If you get an ankle biter, I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then it turns I'm gonna have something that can port. sit on me, not that I can sit can, on. Can we see anything like from port? You uh, give me a perception check. Okay. All right. Being in port now, and you now being above water, you notice that the air around you guys is hazier than it was in the morning, and not and not like a uh, cold, humid, wet haze. Like a, there, there's a warmth to it, mm. a, a smokiness, and, and not one that you That's necessarily not... like. Something's on fire, dog. Yeah. For... <laughs> This isn't Silent Hill. This is Quiet Incline. <laughs> can I see anything? Can I do a perception check? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I got that aerial view. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I guess not more aerial than fucking Snyder up in the fucking crow's nest, but whatever. Yeah, but that, that was from a distance away earlier. You guys have come in. At least now we don't have to go into town like ourselves. If uh, else we have to. I got All a right. 17. Okay. Uh, with your 17 and standing taller than the rest, you actually uh, see pl some plumes of smoke coming from uh, closer to the center of town. I want to go investigate. Who's coming with me? You should take. I mean, we're, Rory's already kind of headed that way. Do you want to take Chibi with you? No, I don't know. No, I guess we should all go. I think I should stay with the ship. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it is closer to town now, and things. they might. So the Time Empire to the Zoom Empires might know our ship at this point, so they might try to like do something to it while we're gone. That's true. Mm. 
do, but the question is, do we still do we want to go still dressed up as the zoo pirates, or do we want to take that off? Wait, hold on, Mika. Why don't you 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 have a you have a thing you can use for this? I you? do. Yeah, yeah. You can set uh like a like a trap, can't you, or something like a, an alarm? Oh yeah, yeah you, I have you, alarm. You have alarm. Yeah, you could uh, put an alarm on the boat so you know. But we would you... need a way to get back to the ship really quickly if it goes off. Well, at least you'd know to go back to the ship. Mm. Yeah, but if like we're all the way across the map and the alarm goes off. Yeah, that's true. Oh wait, fucking Snyder, Devil Fruit. That's only like a thirty-five to forty oh. foot range. I I could imagine you just like straight throwing him. <laughs> <laughs> you just that. huck me as close as you can to the boat. <laughs> uses that his devil fruit to get even higher, and then just proceeds to <laughs> a slow fall his way closer to the boat with momentum. <laughs> momentum. I mean, it's like a jump pad and fort. That is a plan. I mean, we. I mean, Rory's been gone for like a minute. We could tell him to come back and just stay on the ship <laughs> while we go look. Yeah, yeah, but if like someone from the zoo pirates is on our ship, what the fuck you is Rory don't gonna do? Take the poor boy's excitement of getting a dog. <laughs> <laughs> he was so excited. And what if? Well, how do you think he'll feel if we say no now? <laughs> I love the parental. So Maybe we'll just get this. Rory. We go on the snail and be like, "Hey, once you get what you need, go back to the ship immediately." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck no it. Ride the dog. <laughs> you get there quicker. Well, but also he can kind of tell us what's going on in town. So okay, so why don't we we stay on the ship for a little bit until we hear back about what's going on? Okay. All right. So ten minutes goes by, and then you hear. Then you, you, you answer it. God, God. <laughs> you have my do you have my dog, Rory? I swear. Well, oh yeah, I, I got the dog and I, you're you're oh, gonna love yeah. the discount. The discount? Oh yeah, the, 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 the pet shop was actually uh the, the well the windows were smashed. Uh the, the owner <laughs> has like a broken leg and the, there's like some people oh, my God. in and out. <laughs> Uh, Did you steal this dog? I, I I mean I stole the dog, but like. Oh uh, my god, my boy! Oh my god. I love you, <laughs> Rory. What the fuck? You didn't steal no. him. You saved him. Yeah, he saved yeah. him. Did you at least uh, leave? You, a you rescued a dog, man? my boy. <laughs> well, you Did you at least the... leave a little bit of money for the man? Cause fuck, he's gonna need a something. Uh, well, actually, you know what? That, that's a valid point. I mean, I didn't break the window or any of the other stuff because, like, people are just looting like crazy down here. And, oh god! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, my shop! <laughs> Hell yeah! I don't want to join no, in the fun. Thing Let's thing go. Worries about uh, my oh, shop. No. My thing. You know, you know what? Looting, uh, hold guys. on, Snyder. Uh, and then Rory just uh, there. Uh, I gave him a uh, ten thousand berry. And I just I kind of like tucked it in his waistband. It's like a. I don't think anyone's going to want to go reaching in there. And, like, <laughs> odds are he's passed out like that. Someone might try to rob him again. So. Oh, God, I hope he's not dead. I kind of give him give Tell him Tell Dice dead. <laughs> and I look to the rest of you. <laughs> uh, okay, no, he's not dead. <laughs> okay, thank fuck. Can I just, like, run away towards the town? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll just drop the phone and drop the snail and... Well, I got the snail. Yeah, Tanga's got the snail. I'm free. Our, uh, I mean, do, I don't think we should go into town. <laughs> Too late. I'm already gone. I gotta save a dog. Well, we can take all the dogs. We're gonna make a sled team. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you and you and Chibi are fast. We can meet up with Rory. Make sure he doesn't get robbed. 
whatever plan you're making, <laughs> I don't. Get, I can't hear it. I'm already dog gone. robbed. Yeah, I say, Chibi, can you can you go <laughs> bring them back? Yeah, <laughs> you're fast. <laughs> I give me and Snyder will hang here until we group back up. Yeah, nearest I can tell, Tonga. I I've seen some skirmishes in the streets. Uh, we got some Thai pirates and zoo pirates uh, kind of fighting here and there. Uh, some of their relatives are uh, are at each other, and uh, a bunch of people have been running from uh, running away from Town Square. I think. How far away is that? That's in. It's in the middle of town. It's like a quarter mile. It's not too bad. I'm not conflicted. Should we should we just go together? Like <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at this point, like we might as well. Like <laughs> the captain's, captain's already, already gone. <laughs> the captain's I already I, gone. I guess I'll follow and <laughs> <laughs> see what adventure awaits, I guess. Good thing you all are fresh off of full rest. Yeah, I'm just like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> is it is it too late to um set the alarm? Here we go again. <laughs> on our own. I, I'll let you set your alarm. Okay. Because <laughs> like you did you you after dashing for a moment you're like wait I forgot to lock the door. <laughs> Dash. <right back. laughs> You can do it from what, like walk? thirty feet or something like that. You like turn around. <laughs> you rig up the alarm. Come on, everybody! I'm not gonna wait though. I'm just gonna say that and leave. <laughs> All right, we follow. Okay, uh, just for future reference, what uh, when your alarm goes off? What does it sound like? I can either choose for it to be an audible sound or a mental sound, and I'm going to choose mental. Ooh. I'm just imagining, like, a, your alarm is literally just a little, uh, a trip transponder <laughs> snail. Like, just a little special snail. You just place him right there. <laughs> and he just goes, like, bit a bit a bit a in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's just screaming. <laughs> Intruder alert! <laughs> Intruder alert! <laughs> Just obnoxious screaming in your head. <laughs> oh god, the voices are back. Not the voices. Alright. You guys are just sprinting into town as, as a unit. And let, let me see here. Wrong die. Gotta roll another one. Yeah, fuck it. Keep the party together. There's a cube on the thing now. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know how to get rid of it. <laughs> what if you die? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. I'm gonna activate our old spades town thing. Cool. There we go. And big, though. Huh? Sorry, nothing. Go on. <laughs> Alright. So, as you guys are running into town here, you, uh, you hear a, a, a loud kaboom as a cannonball from an unknown source uh, crashes into a nearby building, collapsing part of it. And the debris uh, creates like a, a kind of like a, a dusty haze around it. Are we still dressed as Zerman pirates? I would assume not. You guys like woke up yeah, fresh in the morning. Shit. And uh, I want uh, you guys to each make a dexterity saving throw. Damn. You okay. gotta avoid all that rubble. Oop. Normal? Yeah, just a dexterity saving throw. Let's go. I'm okay. 21. All right. On that oh. 20. <laughs> yeah, all of you uh, you easily de dart to the side as like these chunks of uh, building and brick smash to the ground uh, around you. 
Mine's lower because I'm an easy target because I'm so large. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you kind of like have to just like move your head out of the way as like a big old uh, chunk of brick flies by. <laughs> do saving throws? You just click on the, the ones in the box for saving. That's what I did. But no, I'm doing the. Uh, oh. Like, but I think her mod is the same. So that's fine. You yeah. did an ability check. Oh. Yeah, but with uh, a roll like it's that. The same modifier. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. For next time. And what'd you say it was? You clicked the saving it? throw tab to the. Yeah, right there. Oh, I see it. Okay, sorry. The more you know. All right. As you guys uh, are venture further into the town, you see uh, just kind of a. Uh, some of the townsfolk running away from the center as well as you just uh, see some people kind of uh, dashing into little businesses and houses breaking things in and just walking out with like a hand like handfuls of goods nice <laughs> and oh as, as you uh, as you're uh, kind of going by you you see just this little merchant stall uh, being looted with by a small band of uh, Thai man pirates, about four guys. They, they stop what they're doing uh, for a moment, and they one of them just kind of like looks over to you. Uh, hey, would you... Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. You gotta get in character. So yeah. it's a band of pirates? Thai man pirates. Okay. okay. I like this music. I also like this music. It, it is nice. Uh, the, I guess the so-called leader of these four just kind of like, it's like, hey, you. You look like a capable lot. You want a cut of the goods in exchange for protection? Who's he talking to? Us. I'm talking I'm to you. To... Uh, I'm just trying to look at him. You talking to me? Yeah. Protection from what? Oh, I think you know. Oh, <laughs> things are getting a, things are getting a little crazy around here. Captain started fighting one another downtown. We're taking what we can get, because as it stands, whole place is turning to shit. How about you give us what you got? Well, you see, well, not so little, Miss. That's. Wait a minute. I, I, I was offering you some. Of, uh, uh, I was offering you a cut. You know what? Fuck you. Nah, it's all or nothing. <laughs> make, make a persuasion <laughs> check. Or intimidation. Intimidation or a persuasion check? Like these people. If the captains are frightened, those are the bounties. We could swoop in at the last moment and take them both out. Oh, did you almost see that? That was almost a three. <laughs> you don't want to go into this fight. Too hurt. All right. The, these guys, he's like, uh, he looks at you, he squints a little bit, and it's like, uh, 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 quite right. Yeah. You know what? There's plenty of loot for all. You, you, you can have, you can have this one. Come on, boys. We're, we got work to do. And they just kind of like yeah, dash fine. off. You see that, guys? Now we're gonna put this it's stuff back, right? I'm fucking goading. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Snyder so much. <laughs> what, what do you say? <laughs> now we're gonna put this stuff back, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna look to Akisu and say, yeah, but be careful. If tensions are high, we don't want people popping off at us until we want them to. I get it. Let's see if we can get a sight on this town center. And you guys continue onward. And a as you do, you kind of pass up uh, the the pet shop that uh, Rory was in. And mm. you just kind of hear, hey, I got the dog. <gasps> I'm my dog. And, and just, uh, it's Rory and Tilda. Tor Tilda looks rather, like, her hair just seems a little frazzled. <laughs> and she looks stressed. Tilda, what happened? 
this entire place is going all to hell, and you 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 left me with him. No offense, Rory. None taken. I think Rory is well capable enough. I mean, he's got I a gun. Dude's head off. I, I do have a gun. Do you have a gun, Tilda? Yes, I have I... the gun that you handed me. It, <laughs> it's just like I've had to use it a few times already. Good oh boy. Get you experience. <laughs> <laughs> we need a well-rounded party. <laughs> it's all right. We're together now. We can see, really see what's going on here. What were you guys able to, you know, understand about this? Well, let me see this dog. Where's this dog? Okay, you, you go up to Rory and you just see like this massive. It like it looks like a you know like a like a big old Alaskan Malamute uh, type dog. Oh, like a. Oh, I gotta look that up. I don't know what it's like. Uh, you, you know, like a like a yeah. like a big husky, with like the, big the white fluffy, up, big fluffy husky oh, with white yeah. eyes. <gasps> He's so cute. Can I try to pick him up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, give me an animal handling check. <laughs> See if he likes it or not. Oh! oh hey! <laughs> uh, okay. As you pick this dog up, you, now you have to understand that this dog. It, by normal dog standards, is fucking massive. But given your size, it's basically <laughs> it's, a <regular> it's <laughs> like sweet baby. <laughs> yeah, it's like a sweet baby. Like, oh, hey, it's, it's such a little one. As far as you're concerned, like you're, you're it's like you picked up a puppy, and yeah, a little puppy. And like this kind of echoes I'm back to his his uh, early memories of being a puppy being picked up. He always oh, loved aw. being a lap dog. And like, as he got bigger, people kept pushing him away. And now he feels the love and connection of being able to be that lap dog again. Aww. I sort of got And I imagine <laughs> in, in like this stressful situation, he's, he's like immediately like comforted by yeah. someone bigger. Yeah, there's oh, the, nice. his, his tail like is just would get flapping back and if forth. The dog started to attach to Akisu a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> It's so cute. My dog. This, this, I'm kind of he seems like a well trained and happy boy. The dog. And I'll kind of look there and say, Nice. Good choice. Son. Well, it, well there, there were a few others, but this one just seemed the friendliest. He's so now, cute. Now, I love Rory, him. Can, real quick, can you show me where this shopkeeper is? Because I, I do feel. <laughs> Slightly obligated to help him. <laughs> he, he leads you into the shop, and you just you find uh, this uh, this middle aged uh, dude with like a, a thick gray beard in the corner, and like a, a terribly receding hairline. Like it just kind of like splits deep down to the back of his scalp. Oh boy. Oh God! <laughs> He's beyond help. <laughs> the hairline like this. Your <laughs> wounds can't seal that burn. <laughs> um, uh, give me a medicine. Gonna... He's dead. <laughs> yeah, I'll do. I'll do medicine. Do, 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 do. You walk in and see he has no hair. Guys, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> now, There's no saving him. That's going to be my fucking assessment. <laughs> okay, you, you try looking him over. He's out cold. And without him being able to give you proper uh, feedback and response to like, hey, does it hurt here? Does it hurt there? You, you can't really gather too much information as to how he feels about any given injury on his body. Like, he, he seems hurt, but, like, outside of the heavy breathing and being right. passed out, it's like, hmm. Lost in the There's no, like, clear wounds or anything. Can I name the dog Tetsu? Yes, Ooh. you can, na you can name the dog name. Tetsu. Yes. That's Tetsu, right, Tetsu. Tetsu. He's, Snyder's over there like this man is dead I'm like can I name the dog that's <laughs> I was literally just about to ask like the group what should we name <laughs> doggy do I, when I as I look at this um, and over like Snyder's shoulder do I recognize him Um, you know what G give me a history check I'll be right back
11. You kind of recognize him. Like, uh, you've been to the shop before, mm. once or twice, to get some of their cheap squids. Because, like, uh, nice. they're indigenous to uh, places a little further up in the North Blue. Mm. Uh, Wait, is a squid a pet? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's actually a tank full of uh, these little squids. Oh. Which, uh, let me just scroll. Actually, wait. What other is. pets are there in this store? Yeah, oh, go ahead. Let me look oh, no, around. I'm going to be like, giving you guys all the uh, pets at this point. What's, what's <laughs> the store? Well, I mean, like, are there any, you know. Okay, anything? so you do, you do see, like, uh, some cages on the south wall. With some frost feathered seagulls. Okay. Uh, they're they're pretty common and they're known for being very hardy birds. Uh, you look around a little bit more and you, you see a uh, a habitat with three snow ferrets. Okay. These a bunch of little sleek small white ferrets that are just kind of like running around playing, doing little uh, ferret shenanigans. <laughs> Nice, nice. From what you know, they're commonly used as a form of pest control to keep uh, rat populations down on ships. Mm -hmm. And then they can be used uh, to carry mess. Oh, not messages. Where is it? Snow ferrets. Oh, yeah, okay. Good at hiding, finding hidden food, rats, or stowaways. <laughs> or stowaways. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> you, you think to yourself that would have been useful before. <laughs> yeah, as I immediately like remember what they're used for, I'm like, just oh. glance at Tolda. <laughs> <laughs> and then I look at Akisu and I'm like, eh. <laughs> like... You also see like a, a little terrarium with these uh, with these small crabs, and by small I mean like they're the size of a small dog. Oh. Yeah, big crab. Big ice crab. crabs. Yeah, yeah. Totally ice crab. ice crabs. They're, they're basically like. Are you guys are familiar with Skyrim and mud crabs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like that. Uh, what do they do? Uh, they're. Let's see. Um, so they, I would know them. They're they're collected they're by fishermen for being very tasty. Uh, some pirates keep them as quirky pets for for protection on. Hmm. Yeah. It. They just kind of like scuttle about. They're somewhere between emergency rations and like a. They. Like they'll let you know if something uh, comes on board because, like, oh, hey, something's here. I'm going to go scuttle up to it. <laughs> and like if, if you just jumped on a ship and you saw, like, holy shit, it's a crab and it's like nipping at your ankles. <laughs> There's also uh, two frost owls and. The, up at the front of the store and some cages. Mm -hmm. it, if you if you've ever seen like a picture of a snow owl, that that's about what these are. Mm. Mm. You also see some north blue squidlings in a uh, tank, just kind of swimming around doing their thing. I'm gonna like, pull. I'm gonna reach my hand in immediately. I'm gonna pull one out and eat it. <laughs> oh my god! It glows uh, softly in your hand. Um. The bioluminescence is delicious. <laughs> Put that in the no context. It's what feeds quotes. my bioluminescence. <laughs> I cannot glow without feeding on others. Sorry, they are a delicacy to my kind. <laughs> As aside from their bioluminescence, which is commonly used uh, on ships as kind of a nightlight, the they're also just like, like you said, to fishmen, they are a delicacy. Not a taste that goes so well for uh, people uh, on the surface, but still. <laughs> but yeah. As a creature who is bioluminous, yes it is. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna bioluminous. Can we can we take one of those um the one of those things that find stowaways? Oh the, the fairy? Oh. Yeah, there's three there's three uh, snow fairies just kind of playing. I'm gonna take all three of them and put them in my pocket. <laughs> You're just gonna they wiggle out. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna be they're just gonna run away, aren't they? Like... They're in my pocket. How are they gonna run away? 
<laughs> Have you ever seen a ferret? <laughs> it will you ever heard the whole pocket. ferret? <laughs> they, they start they wiggling and playing in your pockets. Uh huh. And then, like, some of them just like wiggle out, and then they like just start going underneath your clothes and just like running around like, like a bunch of ferrets under a blanket. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> It probably tickles me, so I'm gonna. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it tickles. You're like, um, uh, it, it's slightly unsettling, <laughs> like having a bug yeah. crawl all over you. How many of the crabs did you say there was? There's about six. Wait, were, they, are... were they in anything? Oh yeah, they, they were in like a little terrarium. Oh no, well, I'm just gonna grab them again and put them in the terrarium, and then. Oh, uh, take the toilet. Oh, you're just gonna put the ferrets back in their uh, look. Yeah, you just put them back in a, their tank and just like take the tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Come on, guys, we're robbing the pet store. <laughs> I have a question. Does the uh, owl send like messages? Yeah, it's an owl. We can. They're I mean, yeah, known. Auto. This breed is actually known for their intelligence, and. Let's see. Like they're hunting hurting. abilities. They're they're very keen hunters. Could they send like letters and stuff to people? Um, let's see. I don't think they're as good for that because that's in terms of like a uh, carrier pigeons are known for that. The eagles does does the owl not uh, the uh, these owls are good for scouting. Oh, okay, I see. Silent companion capable of hunting for food, scouting, providing an ominous atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> There's also some puddle toads. The fuck are puddle toads? What are the glue toads, right? Yeah, they're uh, cold water toads that secrete like a slimy little substance and that's used to patch holes in ship holes. They have, like, you should get one of those. They have large oh, beady eyes that make them look kind of sluggish, and like they're surprisingly quick in the water. So the only pets that are like expensive is the dog. The rest of these are pretty cheap. Like we could get them at any time. Yeah, like right now. I mean, right. <laughs> yeah, like right now. You just gotta like see Cheapy in the corner reading a brochure on the, the puddle toads. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, fuck it. <laughs> Ship of bears, you say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I can't read. Oh, wow. I only oh, read me. It'd be amazing if I could read. <laughs> Pretty pictures. Are we going to end up just taking, like, at least like, one or two of everything, like, <laughs> that was going on here? I only want the froggles. <laughs> I mean, if yeah, that's I'll what you guys want. some of the crabs for, like, food purposes, but, like, other than that, none of them are really nice. But you'd be fishing. So you're just gonna steal from this old man just to eat something? Yes. They're delicious! <laughs> <laughs> I got hungry, I'm sorry! I love how everyone's like looting like gunpowder and we're like actual stuff up. and we're just at the pet store. <laughs> to be fair, you guys like loaded up on the stuff you wanted but previously <laughs> with shopping. Yeah. Ain't no Look, one as we... in the pet store. Look, we're about to go into a fight. We might as well add this. <laughs> oh yeah. What what else kind of uh, shops are there around here? <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, can I just... check the status of like my shop? Are people looting my shit? <laughs> uh, oh. Your shop was actually like you had it part of your cart that you put on oh. the ship. Oh, let's go, Max. <laughs> Oh, I had like a stand, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, you had true. A, yeah, you had like a little mobile thing. Oh, okay, let's go, let's go. And, in the case of the town, like a lot of places are like that. <laughs> and I, I imagine there's like a moment where I'm like, oh god, my shop, and then I'm like, I remember that it's on the ship, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh god, my ship. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so... I mean, I have the alarm on the ship. Yeah, no, we're just, we're just having anxiety. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's normal. Uh, Rory uh, kind of goes up to Chibi like, w would you like one of these uh, one of these puddle toads? Yeah. Their, their slime's good for like uh, repairing uh, holes in the ship hull. I love my ship. Yeah. 
and we can use their uh, their glue in a lot of crafting. Yeah. Very useful. Just maybe, as like a binding agent in general. Maybe uh, Akisu could use it on the bullets. Yeah, I was thinking that uh, we could oh, make like some. <laughs> you just like I don't know why but... they get bombs covered up in this uh, goo. <laughs> he bombs, man. Only to make them more irritating. We can make all kinds of shit. <laughs> glue rounds. Yeah, fucking glue bullets, like sticky bombs. Test make... traps. Yeah, fucking glue traps. Like. <laughs> all right. So you you guys have managed to commandeer a, a whole bunch of animals. <laughs> What are you gonna do with your hall of I feel animals? Like he's a man because he's been ro like maybe it's more humane to kill this dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like the <laughs> only shop that hasn't really been raided. <laughs> oh, is he? Not oh, many people rob him. Like, my shop. In... Yeah, like we didn't like I steal his pets like that. We're gonna leave him some of, you know, we're gonna take like at least like one or two of each of these animals. <laughs> <laughs> because why not, I guess. You just see Rory with a bag of dog food. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm gonna grab some food for the dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a pig ear in hand. <laughs> I'm like fuck, oh, should we, like, take them back to this. All right, Rory and Tilda, can you take all these animals? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Marcus, <laughs> and uh, then we'll uh, we'll uh, head into we're town. Gonna a, we're gonna need a cart. We need to steal look a over. Cart. I mean, we can just take a yeah. cart. We can just steal a cart. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Rory, Everyone's you know, already stealing you know, shit anyway. And all of our morals just go out the window. <laughs> Look, we have a we have a mission here. All right, we have a grander thing. It's There's in the things. name of protecting animals. Yeah. yeah, and you know when we save this island, though, they won't care that we took some animals. It's fine. <laughs> they <laughs> they <might>. <laughs> This or episode is condemned to you is by PETA. When when we are rich and able to like reimburse them, we can. And we'll Honestly, do that because we're uh, good people. We should like the one we took to of, we should just breed them and then send the children back to the dude. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take <laughs> two of each. <laughs> and okay. we'll start our own. Okay, so two of each is basically what you're doing. Yeah. Okay, so that way he's got a little something. Come Noah's Ark. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna like rob him blind. Just, just a little bit off the top. <laughs> We're just skimming the fat off the top. Exactly. He won't even notice. <laughs> God, my livelihood is ruined. <laughs> uh, I'm writing yeah. this down because I'll need that for later. We'll take some time, find a cart, load up all the. The new stuff. Ice cream. I don't. I don't think we. Like we could have like Rory and Tilda like join like hypothetically if we get into like a combat, right? They could join at a later time. They don't have they to have be there. Phone. Yeah. So like I think we should send them back. We'll scout up, you know, in case we get into any scuffles. Keep the dog with us, of course. <laughs> What the dog doing? <laughs> what did I don't know. Oh wait, we're keeping the dog with us. Dog's dog is a combat. Pet. He's just hanging oh, out yeah. in your arms. He's yeah, just a puppy. Play. He's just a baby. He's a puppy. We should have named the dog Big Joe. Big Joe. <laughs> Big yeah, can Joe. we change the name to Big Joe? Okay, Big Joe. <laughs> right, right. This uh, the chill hound is like a. Combat sort of, uh, or does it have like an other purpose? Uh, they have they have kind of mixed purposes, being uh, mm -hmm. kind of that kind of breed of dog. Do they have any special ability? Let's see here. They, they. We should give this dog a devil fruit. Oh, <laughs> you could, boy. you really could. Uh, they're tough, medium-sized dogs with thick fur and an uncanny, uh, uncanny ability to navigate through snow. 
They're hardy <laughs> and are a favorite among sailors who often venture into the frigid seas of the North Blue. They're excellent uh, sled dogs or ship dogs and are used for pulling supplies and hunting in snowy conditions. Cool. So, in terms of hunting, that's that's a semi-combat kind of dog. Ooh, I, okay. I, I have an idea that I can make for him in the future. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put together a stat block for Big Joe. <laughs> Let's go. We will protect this battle with our lives. <laughs> we will make him strong. It's a donkey called Big Joe. Probably let me give this dog like a Thai fruit. The, the Thai Thai fruit. <laughs> You're gonna I'm feed a man to a dog? So that he uh, can have ties? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, we could have try and kill one of them. And Absolutely. A fruit <laughs> response nearby. Look, my curiosity about the green blood and all that shit, I might. Don't take my dog. Green blood? I don't know. Or that's a stuff, that's a stuff for. Uh, yeah, that's my, how. His, my... It's how uh, his uh, powers work. He utilizes. Uh, devil fruit genetics and stuff that it's stuff that you uh, kind of get into uh in uh once vegapunk Big becomes head. relevant in one piece oh, i'm still in water big old egghead shit uh, yeah i don't know about it you, you'll know yeah. more about it next arc yeah i know I'm Basically, just, i just started a kaido fight so gear five's coming soon oh gear five's one piece tight. is going on a break for a bit so we have time to catch up yeah. That works. I'm basically like, um, I want to take the powers of devil fruits and like give them people who can't use them or put them in the weapons. Like, or... who can't use them? What are you talking about? I mean, like, use them without like the repercussions or like make really good food with them or shit like that. Oh, like, make motherfuckers have devil fruit because they can swim or something? Yeah. Or like, you know, Two if fruit. I can. Utilize the devil fruit for two people. You know, any kind of thing that's like happening. I want to see if I can spot some in like character for Tanya. Because like, imagine a gun that could shoot portals. Yeah, like <laughs> now you're thinking with portals. <laughs> exactly right. Like, <laughs> all right. You know, so, like an enhanced door to recruit and something. Be very interesting. So Big Joe here is uh. <laughs> He's got pack tactics, keen sense mm -hmm. of smell, frostbite aura, so uh, all creatures within 10 feet of him succeed on a DC uh, 12 con saving throw and have... Okay, so he can basically... He can channel some of the frostiness. Nice. Does that include us? Uh, that it's an a That's an AoE. Yeah, so it's like aura a, around him. It, it's something that kind of lends its hand to why they're good at hunting. Because they I don't can, know like, what that well, means, but okay. Basically, if he latches on to something, he can uh, use his uh, frostbite aura to sl if create a. Uh, he can slow down creatures. Oh, if, okay. they, if they fail the saving throw within ten feet of them. Mm -hmm. That's why they're good for hunting uh, in the snow outside of their natural uh, proclivity to like navigate and find oh, things. Oh man, can I imagine like a pack of them? Oh yeah. Slow down and me like create. Oh, that's nasty. And pack tactics is basically like as long as he's got an ally within five feet of him, uh, the yeah, he he, he, he's good to go. You know, advantage on attack rolls and stuff. Mm -hmm. Which works well for you guys because you want to stay close to your dog. Bubby. Big Joe. Yeah, I kind of go up to Big Joe. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> ruffle his head. I'm going to say, good boy. You're going to be strong like us. You're going to do great things. And I'm going to give him, I'm going to pull a fish out of my pocket. <laughs> give it to him. <laughs> You're our chopper. 
<laughs> he starts he starts gnawing on the fish in Akisu's arm and just kind of like has it like over one paw and like another paw over the fish, just ca- keeping it in place as he just kind of like chews on the tail. How old is he? You're not sure. You, uh, let's see. Uh, give someone give me a nature check. Um. Yeah, I'll do it while I'm like right there. Nature. I do a good nature. All 14. Right. Oh, we rolled the same thing. <laughs> you you both can tell that he's about two years old. Does he got them big mittens on him? Yes. Oh, the big mittens. Yes. That's so cute. And because he's a snow dog? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he would, he would have to. Big mittens. <laughs> big mittens. That's oh, why man. he's big yo. Anyway, uh, are we gonna go to the middle of town where all the yeah, shit's happening? Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's head down. I'm just gonna roll to make sure. Uh, okay, yeah, Rory and Tilda make it back safe. Hey, God. Do I hear the alarm go off <laughs> when they get to the ship? Well, seeing as uh, think... your alarm would see the animals as cargo, because the way that your uh, your people are loading them up. I'm just nice. going to say that for sake of argument because I don't want to have it be more complicated yeah, than it needs to be. I think it doesn't go off for allies, but it like notifies you. Oh, I can designate them. people to not set it off. Okay. Oh. Mm. And where they're loading up animals, it's just like, okay, well, obviously those aren't people. I mean, if, if, I mean, Rory and Tilda are people. Yeah, but you would have designated. Them. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. So uh, you would have been like mentally notified that they walked over your alarm or whatever. Yeah. You're like beep beep, beep beep. <laughs> anyway. Doodly, doodly, doodly. You you guys have successfully robbed the, the pet store. <laughs> Yay. I like <laughs> Snyder's <laughs> just like you, you just see him uh, leave an IOU and like a stack of <laughs> berries. Just like guys. Where should we write in the pets and stuff that we got? Or are you taking care of that? Uh, I'm noting it for now. Okay. That's cool. I shall be right back. I need to prep yeah, some stuff for my wife true. real quick. That's all good. Take your time. What'd you just say? What'd you I say? Need, I need to go prep some things for my wife. I think I need to go fix my life real quick. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> That's going to take a while. That's so real. Hold up, guys. I got to go and reevaluate my life. <laughs> <laughs> still all around. You, you guys still hear people just running around. All like... And meanwhile, as uh, Snyder's away. Woohoo, commercial break. And now you can hear from our sponsor, Air. Clean, sometimes, usually breathable, almost always there. Air, isn't it time you took a breath? (laughs) (laughs) manual breathing is the life for me <laughs> sometimes you can just be like if you get a bad customer at work just be like yo listen you are now manually breathing is that any way to talk to someone when you're manually breathing yeah. and then they'll be like come for a distance <laughs> Make people have to consciously think about their breathing. I think it's funny. It's hilarious. Sorry, I was too busy manually breathing. <laughs> it works! It <laughs> works! Damn, I didn't expect you guys to rob the whole pet store. That's on me. <laughs> They're just too damn useful. 
Look, I mean, the opportunity, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and you just got like, you guys are gonna have to set up like a whole big old fish tank at, on the ship, like they do uh, on the in One Piece, and just have like, okay, we got the crabs right there, yeah, we've got the squidlings cool. right there, got our stock of fish right there. I'll treat it as like now we got food stuff. I wonder if I have this weird morality. Like, is this enslavement? Yeah, like, are these animals like? Kai, I don't know how you expect me to believe that your sister opened the Nutella. She doesn't have that much grip strength. All right. I'll be back in a moment. We're we're waiting on Snyder to reevaluate his life anyway. So that that guy said that the captains were fighting. That's what he said. Nice. So to get the bounty, do we have to we have to capture or kill them? Yeah. I don't know what I said. Well, usually the wanted posters say dead or alive, so. Mm -hmm. There was only there was only one time in One Piece where it said only alive. Yeah. I imagine yeah, they wouldn't want them alive. Huh? I imagine they wouldn't want them alive in this instance because they're causing so much shit. Yeah. Well, they might just want to like arrest them. No, because they've overrun the police. Oh well, I mean. Uh -huh. I don't know. If, they, if we kept them alive, they'll just, like, escape and do the same shit. So we get to kill and blow them both. Maybe we capture them if we can. For, like, devil, pur devil fruit purposes. You should, uh, what? go... You should call Rory and tell him to bring a bunch of rope. Bunch of rope. That we can I think we have rope. Just yeah, like but do we have enough rope to tie up like the leaders of this, like a whole of the leaders? I mean, yeah, I would think so. I, each of us usually has like 15, 20 feet of rope on us. Okay. okay. What we could do, we could do it like hog tie them up. Yeah. And then uh, go to the police and be like, here you go. Yeah. It's like we could turn them in. Yeah. But I feel, but like if they. Because at least one of them has like a double fruit, right? So like, so what? Tonga is gonna want them. You, well, I want the money, so. <laughs> so either like the best way we could do both would be ideal. For them. <laughs> he well, is very interested in the devil fruit. Yeah, but how do you take that from a man? That's what I, that's what he wants to figure out, man. Okay. Well, don't I, like, I would probably be satisfied with just taking a bunch of his blood. Okay. I feel like that's fine. I feel like that's yeah. Fine. That, Cause I feel because we would know because if someone dies, they lose it, right? And the dove fruit like respawns or something. Yeah, in the world. You don't like get it when you kill them. No. So, like, yeah. So I feel like in Tonga's brain, he'd be like, "Oh, okay." Uh, probably I need, like, something from them. So maybe, like, blood or, like, I don't know. Maybe, like, I could get them to, like, you have relinquish, like relinquish it or something. A like needle? That. Yeah. Or, like, a bottle? Just I mean, I guess you could just fucking, like, slice them up and then yeah, scoop their blood. Just, yeah. yeah. I'll kill them, and then, like, right before he dies, I'll, like, Vial up his blood. Like, I mean, homie, he's already dead. He's not gonna mind. No, it's, it's gotta be right before he dies. Cause like, if Tonga oh, knows no. that the devil fruit leaves his body, right? Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah. Good luck with that. And this would be like his first opportunity to like do this to someone who has a devil fruit. He's like, oh, I gotta harvest it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And even if it doesn't work, you would know that it doesn't work like that. Uh, 
Okay, I am back. Good, you didn't hear our conspiring. <laughs> <laughs> my my daughter went and got a hold of uh, a thing of Nutella and proceeded to plunge both hands into it. Nice. Dolls. As you do. Living the life. Living like Larry. Larry totally puts both of his meaty claws in the Nutella. <laughs> Y'all remember back when, like, uh, it, it was an election year and they had uh, Patrick and Larry competing to be president? No. <laughs> uh, I, I think it was like 2004. Back. Maybe I'm wrong. That sounds hilarious. Oh, yeah. And Patrick won by a landslide. Because ain't no one voting for Larry. <laughs> I voted, for, a, I voted for Larry to be, uh, to be a uh, contrarian. So, like, <laughs> I'm all, I was, like, all of, like, I don't know, not that many people. You gave Big Joe a, a sheet? I did, actually. But I might as well add him to the roster here. I am back. Yeah, I want to get it. To fix your life. Uh, Bing bong. Not yet. I'm gonna get on it. I feel like I have a long road ahead of me for it. <laughs> Big Joe. I love Big Joe. Oh, wait a minute. Because of how I did it, I can just simply import it right in here and we're good to go. Let's see. Who's meant to be? Big Joe. Copy. Paste. That'll do it. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Okay. <laughs> and then, huh? just, uh, I'll put him uh, under NPC crew for now. Mm. That seems fair. And I'll have to do the same for Tilda. Being accurate. Oh, wait. Snyder's back. <laughs> We... Games just like peeing behind a building or something. <laughs> <laughs> Such is the way things go. Yeah, and as as we're uh, approaching here, um, I think I do. I'm just gonna pop on mage armor. Did Big Joe have a gun? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I was uh, adding a pistol to Tilda's uh, sheet. You gotta oh. give him the gun gun for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> there is he something like that. He opens his mouth like a cannon launcher. Oh. There yeah, is actually like... a dog in One Piece that has a gun in his mouth. It turns into like fucking a chainsaw man. <laughs> the the chainsaw him. fruit. <laughs> Cocktail. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pop on mage armor. Make my AC 16. Mm. And that's the way to do it right there. There. But now if you guys go into NPC crew, you'll see Tilda, Rory, and Big Joe. Big Joe. Uh, or at least I'm hoping that it'll show up properly. I don't know. Configure ownership. 
all players. There. That should do it. Yep. Yeah, it's working. Awesome. Awesome. I almost forgot about the configuration of ownership in the folders. All right, so what the what's the plan now? Y'all got Big Joe in tow. Ugh. Big hmm. Joe tow. Um, Guess we're going we, in the middle of town. Hear, all this yeah, do we hear a commotion going? as we approach? What do we see? All right, so you guys uh, approach the town uh, square, and as you do, I have to go to where my notes are. Okay, Aloy, can you? Give daddy a little bit of space. Okay, so... As you guys uh, kind of approach the center of town, you, you see that the narrow streets are, are now battle-scarred with overturned market stalls and debris uh, from various skirmishes and burning pirate flags scattered about. Uh, the area is a kind of a, a mix of uh, tight alleys leading into the the open square. Uh, for fuck's sake, my wife's calling me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> put a pin in that for a moment. Alright, sorry about that. All good, all good. Fine. Where where should we be on the map? Mm. Well You'd be coming up the, the main street. Yeah, the uh I, I guess for the, the the town square would be like right up here. Okay, cool. put my token down is that that good is that what you're talking about yeah, that, that, yeah. The, that's the town square area oh, okay so we're probably like over here or something no we're oh yeah no yeah. huh i feel like we're worried oh Where's well he said we were coming up on the town square yeah on the main street yeah so uh, give yourselves like uh, maybe 60 feet And as, as you guys... Wait, uh, is Rory with us? No, he's he's not with you guys yet. Uh, his token was just there from last time we, I used oh, this map. Okay. And as you guys come upon the town square, you, you see uh, the fight uh, kind of like starting to break out between uh, the captain of the Thai Man Pirates, uh, Captain Vex, decked out in just like a series of elaborate ties all intricately woven together to compose a suit with various ties uh, dangling and draping uh, from his sleeves. Overcompensating. But, <laughs> this man has turned his entire power into his uh, sense of fashion. Like, it, it, who, why buy clothes again when you generate ties? Snyder, pull yourself up. Your and, token. and as uh, you see him up in the central square, uh, he you see him as well uh, with his... Uh, you see the captain of the zoo pirates across from him, Orestes Zoo, and his... as you Just as much as you remember him, his very overweight uh, lion uh, hybrid form, 
His mane thick and greasy. And he's just like, he's got that incredibly large beer gut going for him. Can I, um, cast Disguise Self? As what? Well, you As, um, the beaver guy. You also see uh, him up there. Oh, shit. Never mind. <laughs> They have their first mates, you know, uh, their their lieutenants, so to speak, and as well as various crew members uh, are surrounding them, watching as the attentions uh, are slowly building up. I gotta scroll up to my. I'm trying to keep things uh, on track with the descriptions I put together for some of the uh, their second mm -hmm. and first in command. Uh, you know the 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 right and the right hand the uh, people. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Because uh, you are you're already familiar with the Beaver Man and uh, the Bird Guy. That are the uh, the. Why am I terrible at describing things today? Anyway, so you you're already return. Uh, you're you're already familiar with the the heads of the zoo pirates. And then standing mm -hmm. alongside our, uh, the Thai man, uh, pirate captain, you also uh, see. Let's see. Scroll down. Scroll down. Oh, no, that's the boar. Ah, his first mate, uh, not which. Uh, it's just a rather large, dark-skinned woman with a long uh, black braid of hair. She's about, you'd say she's about eight feet tall, muscular frame, and it's almost like uh, exaggerated and almost absurd uh, proportions of just how muscular she is, with like thick arms and just a very imposing presence. Uh, to you, uh, Akisu, you're like, huh, too bad she's short. <laughs> Great short that bitch. <laughs> She has a very sharp, angular face and a prominent jaw jawline, and just piercing blue eyes. And then uh, next to uh, her, you see uh, the the uh, helmsman, who is a he's a very lanky, elongated uh, kind of uh, figure, uh, about a foot shorter than her, so about seven feet tall very thin and he looks almost skeletal with his limbs that are just unnaturally long with fingers that seem to stretch an extra inch or two more than they should and he just kind of like as he's kind of shambling and moving uh, around eyeing the uh, zoo pirates on the other side he moves with a gangly fluid motion that almost resembles like a puppet on strings and he has just like this very sunken look about him. And with a long nose that kind of gives him almost a bird like appearance. And a as they're uh, getting ready to kind of throw down here, I really do wish I organized my notes better. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, the the Thai captain uh, holds up the severed head from uh, that you guys had sent him yesterday. I think we should watch for a while, get into good positions, like maybe Chibi and Akisu can flank, you know, get like a good vantage. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try and climb one of these buildings. <laughs> That's, that's a good idea. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so, wait. They're, like, over here, right? Yeah. I, I'm going to have to put some tokens on the map. Yeah. Also, is is this Big Joe or is this Snyder? <laughs> I don't know how to put my fucking token on the goddamn board. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, whenever you're in the um, actors, then you go to PC and you click on your name to view your sheet. Yep. Instead of clicking on your name, like... Click yeah, and drag. Click and drag. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh. I did that. Oh. Why does it say Big Joe? Oh, what the hell? Yeah, I have no clue. 
Oh, too many Snyders. <laughs> they don't even say Snyder. What the fuck? I'm gonna make you writable. Like I've been trying to there this whole know. time. <laughs> Such is the way that things go. Well, yeah, but if you double click on the one you dragged out, it does open your sheet. That is yeah. really weird. Wait. That that can't be right. Like... No, it's definitely not right. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so. What if you click out Big Joe? Oh, it's still Big Joe. It's not, he's just funny. leaving. <laughs> he's like, I'm done. He's, he's like, I don't want to be here. Did he just delete the token? <laughs> how? Yeah, how? Uh, delete it. Go ahead. Click on it and then you press backspace. Oh. <laughs> he knows a thing or two because he's seen a thing or two. <laughs> I don't think I can. So you need to go to your settings for your sheet and edit your token. I love this. All right. Mm -hmm. What is Pirate? What's funny Prestige is it says again? my token name is Big Joe. Everyone's is different. Oh. Uh, the Pirate really? Prestige can be used for. It, it can be used for various abilities, like uh, whatever your Pirate uh, Prestige abilities are. It can also be used to uh, find uh, plot points and other things. But uh, there's written down in the uh, in the handbook yeah Snyder's because you don't I can't read token. that's okay prototype token the yeah, token name to is to not big get myself token right. name is Snyder <laughs> and uh, Let's just go put some lackeys up in here. I don't have your image. Fuck. Basically, the, there's fights breaking out all over town. Mm -hmm. We're getting somewhere. There. <laughs> you, you can tell I really prep my maps ahead of time. <laughs> and I just want you to know I'm currently uh, on top of this building. <laughs> you just kind of crawl up into a building. Yeah. And I'm gonna uh, prep an oil glass vial in my slingshot. Alright. Now just give a uh, a stealth check with advantage because no one's looking your way because like everyone's yeah. focused on each other. That'll do. There we go. 16. Did I do that or did you do that? That was me. I think I did. Oh, you're not talking to me. No. Yeah, that was that... also like editing your thing. <laughs> I don't know. If it was me. Yeah. Your scale is too small. Why are you so tiny? <laughs> so anything else you guys want to do as this uh, scene is breaking out in front of you? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Um. So Chibi, I think you should also get on our roof. I did. I rolled for athletics. Oh, you can move your token. I rolled a 17. I think... You can me and Snyder, do you want to try to like head this way? And get like back over here. Is this like mm -hmm. okay? Or is that too far? Uh because that's forty and my walk speed's forty, so Yeah. No, I mean because this is multiple like movement rounds. So like we're just kinda like where would you where would you go in this one? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's more than one movement. It's good that you guys are trying to figure out tactically where you want to be as things are going yeah. down. Um, as we're kind of taking time to like watch this scene, 
Um, I think... I mean, okay, so what is this roof like? Is it, like, how tall is it? Uh, the, the building is about two stories tall. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think... I think I want to just kind of hang out, like... Down at the corner? Yeah, and, like, get kind of, like, watch from here. Yeah. Because, like, as far as is is concerned, like, a two-story drop is just a hop for her. <laughs> One story is typically 10 feet, so... I don't think I want to be that far from Snyder. I don't I mean, want to be that close to the people right here. You want, like, the tiny room. Yeah, yeah I mean, maybe yeah, like, that one. like, right here. Yeah, because that's a one-story roof right there. I feel like I'm just like right here. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. And so tonight, uh, maybe you, you should probably get, hear like, them too from right there. Yeah, that's why I went close enough to hear that too. And then maybe you guys can get like right there. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, very good. And then where would big? We gotta pull out one for Big Joe. <laughs> I'll have to get a... Let me see if I have any dog tokens. Uno momento. Specialist beast. There. Big Joe token. I know. And we can have him. I don't want to... Yeah, we can carry him up here, right? I mean, I don't really know if he should be up here. <laughs> I don't know if we should put a dog on a roof. Yeah. <laughs> like that slick nail. On oh, the... I can't move. Can you give us access so we can move it? Oh, this one? Um, yeah. Hmm, let me see here. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to rename the token. I don't even... Oh, because you didn't, you didn't put it, like, tagged to the sheet. You just added the token. Yeah. Um... You have to add it, like, as an image for the token for the sheet. Yeah, this was just, like, a one that I already had prepped for a different purpose that didn't come up. Okay, I think I can do it real quick. Uh, display, appearance. Do I have a dog picture? And... Friendly. I have so many... Hold on, Monster Hunter. Do I have a dog? <laughs> it's... <laughs> I have so many creature pictures. I gotta have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Is there? That's what you think. I know. I I'm right? so unused oh. to having to edit tokens like this. I have a Cerberus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll do for now. Okay. Yeah, I'll just use this one. For now. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So everyone has moved into their positions atop the roof. Oh, that didn't even work. <laughs> I'm in position. I'll handle position. moving Big Joe because he, although he's friendly and part of the crew, still an NPC. Right. <coughs> oh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, you can resize it i think or can i you scale and down oh, do you not see the one that i that i'm using for this oh okay do you want to use that one instead well i mean it looks more like what big joe would look like yeah white fur and everything okay so everyone has climbed upon uh, two, the two separate roofs uh, roofs a parallel to everything in the town square. The pirate. Oh wait, sorry. Um, wait, is Big Joe on the roof? Yeah, just so he's not on the roof. Let's maybe have him like over here. All right. Because he's only really bonded with Akisu, Akisu will have yeah. to be the one to give him orders as a bonus yeah. action. Okay. That's kind of why I wanted to keep him. So closer. otherwise, he'll just. Am I like able to use two thing. bonus actions in a turn? No. Uh, it, I'll allow it if you give up your main action. That seems fair. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Yeah, like if you wanted to do two bonus action things, it's like, okay. Well, yeah, you can use your action to command the dog. Yeah, yeah, I'll allow that. I think that seems fair. Okay. It's not rules as written, but, you know, burned that book a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we got a good advantage. We can see both sides. Very good. Take a drink here. <coughs> Get my throat all scraped. I got my mage armor. All right. Okay. So, oh, uh, Micah. What? I think. Real quick. Just want to check. Hello? Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can't hear you. Hold on. I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> Y'all be prepping. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm just kidding. I am. <laughs> Make sure you use your hunter's mark. Oh, I'm, um, I've already mm. planned okay. that. Mm. That's why I was like, can I use two bonus actions? Because the hunter's you, mark you is a bonus action. Now. Huh? Can you, you can use it now. Yeah. Before. Yeah. We go into initiative. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can use it before combat. Oh, okay. Then yeah, I'll cast it so on the time man captain. Doing, yeah, you're basically like designating your target. Like, Will he know that he's been targeted? Mm -mm. That's the whole point of a sniper. Yeah. Well, you know, it's sniper, <laughs> the sniper king from Sniper Island, far away. <laughs> <laughs> if it was like a powerful, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just under my breath. I'm just like, the wind carries my name. <laughs> <laughs> Sniper Island, far away. I'm just like loading my slingshot and I'm singing to myself. <laughs> Little did Usopp know it was actually Akiso, Akisu's yeah. theme song. <laughs> Sniper Island is in your heart. <laughs> I like to imagine, like, me as a child, like, learning how to become a sniper. I made that song up in my head. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, um, I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, wait, we're in range. 30 feet. Oh, 35. Okay, wait, I'm gonna get. Hold on, wait. I'm gonna be like right here, right on the edge. And I'm gonna mark this guy with my devil's brand. Ah. Okay, cool, cool. Well, I don't know why I did it twice, but okay. Um and uh he's cursed for one minute. All right, one minute's 10 rounds, and they're starting a fight. So basically what you guys have done has basically already started to interfere with the, their fight. But as long as it's uh, not noticeable, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, I just don't check, so I'm good. Yeah, you would see, I mean, you probably won't even notice. It's just kind of like, it may be like a mark appears somewhere on his skin. Yeah. But he doesn't feel it. Like mark? No, for mine. Oh. Mine's like a physical brand, but there's no pain. There's just a physical. There's a there's a visual representation of it somewhere on their body. All right, that's fine. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can you can choose that to your discretion. Oh. And you you all are ready? Yep. So. Yeah. The Captain Vex starts ranting about. It's like you. You have the gall, after all these years, to send a severed head as a message. That's the Time Man Pirate, right? Yes. Okay. And he's just furious. And you can just kind of like see uh, some of the ties across his suit just fluttering upward in, in like... <laughs> like an anime. Yeah. Just, <laughs> like, it, it's, it's like... But with every word that he says and every impassioned uh, word of anger, you see them flutter more. So it's like, he is pissed. It has been nearly 20 years. 20. And you feel the need to end this little arrangement. 
I nearly kicked your ass all those years ago. And you've been running scared this entire time. And you have the audacity to come back around. I'm just gonna giggle. I've had it. I'm done. These little skirmishes and outbreaks and squabbles these past two weeks have been annoying. These are nuisances. I've had enough. It ends today. I'll finish what I started all those years ago. And the, the captain of the zoo pirates just kind of gives a hearty laugh. Like, <laughs> I don't know what you're on about, but I'm not backing down. And he just kind of like a, takes like a big old like step forward and throws his shoulders back and... Like, underneath, like, a, a layer of fat, you kind of, like, see him trying to flex a little bit. Oh, whenever, um, whenever yeah. the zoo captain, like, does his attack, can I, like, time it to where, like, my shot, my shot of oil will, like, douse them at the same time? So it doesn't <laughs> seem like it was another attack. Hmm. Yeah. I think you should wait that's a very good question. It, I'd say that's very tricky because in terms of the fight, yeah, he would... Yeah, him suddenly getting covered in oil would be like... From like also, if you roll low, then we're all fucked. I, I, I'm not saying no. I'm just saying that that's a tricky... That's a that's a tall order for him to not notice yeah, know. where it came from. Well, I was thinking I could like hide. After I do that, I could go to the other side of this roof where it slants downward so I can hide. Okay, okay. And as the they're kind of taunting each other back and for back and forth, Captain Vex uh, kind of takes another step forward, his ties fluttering about. You know, you've gained a lot of weight in these past uh, almost 20 years now. Damn. You've become complacent. And quite frankly, you're not the man I fought all those years ago. I used to respect you. But while you were drinking and eating and becoming a fat tub of shit, I've been training. And you just see like an explosion of uh, ties burst forth uh, from his body and slithering around on the ground. And like the, the zoo captain is just like, you just see him furious. And he just charges uh, forward at like an astonishing speed. Despite his size, he's surprisingly fast. And they're getting like right into it. He, he goes attempting to grapple him. And congested. Yeah. Uh, he he tries to grapple him, but he just gets t tangled up in ties before he even gets there. Vex laughs laughs at him heartily, just like, you thought that was going to work. No. And then he uses his uh, tie control to just kind of create a bunch of ties that lash out at him, and whipping and restraining the... Restraining the captain. Uh, uh, they're, they're both fucking captains. Fuck. I keep saying the captain, the captain. I'm just calling the. I'm just gonna call him the lion man for now. Uh, that cool? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he he just restrains the the lion guy with like a bunch of ties that just spurt out from the ground and wrap around him, pulling him down. Hey, some of you might vividly remember having uh, similar ties uh, grapple you guys when you were in the woods. But so many at the same time. That's like, damn. And he, he starts just whipping and laying right into him with the, his, his ties at his wrist. Now, although initially restrained... Roll, roll, roll. Oh, yeah. He, he just takes a step forward and just kind of rips all of the ties out of the ground. And lunges forward and just starts... A, he grabs a nearby barrel and just starts hurling it at him. And you just kind of like see it completely explode as it bashes 
not only into Captain Vex, but like it pushes him back so hard and then in, into the ground, and the barrel just like wood pieces everywhere. Are you guys going? Are you guys stepping into the fight yet, or no? I think maybe one more round. And you kind of like uh, see various uh, pirate crew members from both sides on it, like surrounding the area and just like they get everyone else involved. Yeah, they're just kind of like watching in, in awe of the two captains. You, you kind of see like one of them uh, be like, oh, we got to help our captain. And then another one of the older guys like, no, you stay out of this. And you kind of like hear some of them chanting, fight, fight, fight. Uh, almost like a school ground brawl. Ooh, we should we should make the 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 guys start fighting. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna crawl over to Akisu a little bit. I'm gonna kind of like whisper up to her. Say, what do you think? So while while we let the the captains fight it out, if we can get the uh, the gangs to start fighting each other. So maybe we uh hit some of them with some distance some shots what do you mean range. like if maybe if you shoot like one of the other guys they'll be like oh they're attacking us mm. you know and then they'll retaliate and then like the other people will start fighting too and then we can kind of pick off people on the outside So, I could load up my shrapnel glass vials yeah. instead of the oil one and start attacking random people around yeah. them. And they'll be like, but oh, I already oh. um put my hunter's mark on the tie, man, Captain. Yeah, so we can't attack anyone else. Oh, you can't attack anyone else? It was, until the spell ends, you deal an extra 1d6 to the target. Whenever you hit with the weapon attack. It doesn't say, like... Oh. I no, have just, to hit him. It's, it's oh. just the next time you hit him. Yeah. yeah. So I could attack other people. Okay, yeah, you're you right. Can. You can. Okay, As, so I would like, uh, I'll put my oil to, uh, away. Let's see. Uh, Snyder, you're closer to that side. I want you to make a uh, perception check. And Tonga and, and mm -hmm. Akisu, I want you to make insight checks. Okay. Normal or advantage? Normal. All right. In fourteen. Got an eight. Okay, and Tonga, what'd you also get? An also eight. an eight. <laughs> okay, Snyder, you being sitting where you are on the roof, you see uh, the vice captain Woodrow, uh, the the beaver guy from before. And looking yep. at him, you see his arms crossed with a wicked smile across his face and a sense of calm about him. The crew, the crew members that he has close to him, they don't, they seem very relaxed compared to a lot of the other uh, pirates in the area. The Thai pirates or like just other pirates? The Thai like pirates and Zoo. Like... Okay, so the only the ones that are calm are the ones that are around him. Yeah, for for whatever reason, like he well, seems to have I a guess kind me of a and cocky Tonga smirk know that. to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he seems to have a cocky smirk to him. How far away is Chibi from Slay? They're about twenty feet away from each other. Okay. Didn't we cover somebody in oil, or was I mishearing? Somebody? She... No, oh, no, that was, was my plan. To. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. It's still the plan, say, but I want we, we want to we were saying we want to attack like the random pirates around them. That way they start fighting each other. Right. So I have my shrapnel files loaded up instead of the oil now. Because I do have produced flame and then I could huck at somebody and catch them on fire. Oh, well cool. I also like I want my plan was to douse them in oil and then use gunpowder, so maybe we Honestly, can... that's a real good plan, especially I mean, considering the uh, like, the ties are action. a cloth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a bonus action to but like would, put your hand if, on, if, but... if gunpowder is just doused in oil, it doesn't ignite, right? No. It needs a flame. 
So I would have to cover them in oil and then gunpowder, and then Snyder would have to do the fire thing. Gunpowder is like an explosive when it hits fire. But yeah, like, like that would give concussive force. Lighting the yeah. oil on fire would just simply be like anything that oil is covering is now on fire. Yeah. Yeah, but if we added gunpowder to it, yeah, yeah then it, it would explode. explode. Yeah, like the oil's good for creating a slippery surface or something that can be ignited. But here's my question though: if we, if they had gunpowder and oil on them, would it be a, a, like a bigger explosion or oh, yeah. more it, fire? It would, basically, you'd add force damage to the fire damage. Yeah. Okay. And I can see where the oil is in liquid form; it could possibly spread due to the concussive force. Mm -hmm. And then it spreads to the flames too. Hmm. Now, yes. would it be better to um, oil, fire, and then gunpowder? I'm going to say that's up yes. to you guys. I would say yes. I'm talking like science-wise. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz once you ignite gunpowder, it explodes. So, then you have so If I just throw gunpowder into a fire, it's going to explode. Yeah. I think it's okay. tricky cuz like the thing about gunpowder is typically like you have it all clumped together. Well, yeah, because it's in my little glass vial, so like once it breaks, it'll like explode everywhere. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like and a... then that causes the explosion. Like in inside the fire is the explosion, and then you have the fire spreading. Right. Yeah, I, I believe floor. we discussed previously that your yeah. that your uh, black powder uh, shots would have like a little bit of flint in them and some broken mm -hmm. glass to give the spark. Yeah, it's You're like so a, right. Very basically like a very, very primitive like So grenade. I don't need fire. Yeah, like those are just straight bomb shot because you added flint yeah. and glass to just like and little You're so pieces right. of metal. So it's just like, okay, on impact it should be like st start the explosion. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Y'all do you. Mm, fair enough. So what are you guys doing over there? Just watching. Just watching. Just a Snyder and Chibi, you... like, okay, here's the plan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what are you guys thinking over there? What does Chibi see from, from that side? I mean, basically the same thing as you. I imagine I'm just going to wait and see if it gets out of hand. Um, and then, like, I would start to, uh, like, instantly. I want to see. I want to try and figure out why everybody's so calm and just, like, not fucking freaking out yeah i don't think i saw that part because i'm kind of too far away yeah like a, you're positioned so that their backs are mostly to you so mm -hmm. like you don't necessarily see it like okay that. i'm back okay cool oh oh no i mean like a Sian siana is a little too far away yeah so like that you, would you see them but like you can't read their expressions as well as snyder can from where he is mm -hmm. oh, i have an idea I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to Akisu. Hey, I'm gonna pull out my sword. I'm gonna summon my familiar. I'm gonna pull out one of my swords. I'm gonna turn into like a liquid metal. And it's gonna transform into the small dragon. I'm gonna say, why don't you give me some of your like powder bombs? Your your. How many explosive? do you need? I have. Uh, if I can have 15. this little dragon airdrop them. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, to cause a little bit of chaos. I'll give you five. Yeah, yeah. The, so, Ryan, how your little how familiar many? can only hold two. Oh, okay. okay. So, so I'll, I'll give him two to carry, and I'll say, fly up and wait for our mark. It, it gives you a little nod. And just like it grabs one in one claw and another in the other claw and just kind of like flaps away like a little imp of destruction. <laughs> now, interestingly, because of how you've set this up, you, you'll have a couple options with this little guy. Mm -hmm. Whether you decide to go kamikaze with the, the double bomb or just straight drop a couple separate bombs, that's up to you. Okay. And I, is there, is there I'm a gonna way? I'm going to give you two more, Tonga, just in case you want uh, to re-up him. In case he wants him. to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so I'll keep a couple on me and I'll have him come back to me. Once I gave you two. <clears throat> so 
Is there is there a way? I mean, as it's it's just kind of chilling right now, right? We're just kind of chilling. Can I send it over to Snyder? You you could. <laughs> it, it definitely has the movement speed to do so. You could have it go to Snyder. You could have it wait on like the rooftop uh, across from both of you guys. Because like your your two groups are on these two uh, Ooh, roofs okay. across, and like uh, the, oh. the town square is kind of a like a trifecta. I mean, a, like a three way. Okay. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. Fork so rock. I can I can yeah. I can't talk through my familiar, but I can I like know what it knows and I can hear through it. So I'm gonna send it over with the two bombs over to Chibi, and you know, and then I'll just kind of like have it perch next to her, and like try to like. Yeah, I'll just have it, like, sit next to you for a second. Okay. In case you, like, want to tell me anything. I don't know anything, but okay. Yeah. Okay, I mean... And then, like, as we're kind of watching, in the next round, I'll have it come back and grab two more and then go over here. Okay, okay, that's a plan. I like that. Yeah. So now, Chibi, you have two of those bombs. And I did roll to see if anyone noticed a... Your little guy flying around, uh, they did not. So, so far, right. so good for that plan. All right, cool. Nice. Chibi has two. I've now got three or four on me. The dragon has two. Awesome, awesome. Right. And my dog is just barking in the background. I don't know if that's showing up on the mic or not for you guys. But... All right. Nah, I'm not hearing it. Huh. Time skip, next round. It's so happening? loud and obnoxious. <laughs> wild okay. all right um thumbs up i like this should player. i go ahead and like attack the uh random pirates up? with the shrapnel vial how fucked up is the dude the lion dude it's i say not yet i, was, I think uh, they yeah. just started fighting yeah the the fight just yeah. started it's only been like one round yeah yeah it's the equivalent of one round essentially like they both attacked each other uh one uh did a grapple the other broke out of the grapple through a barrel is there anything think, in the barrel i think we go one more uh, round just some very slippery and, and then like me and you well okay my dragon and you will attack like each side who's you me yeah you okay akisu okay you yeah. should attack these ones okay and then i'll have my dragon drop bombs here Okay, but wait, there's no oil. But they're they're bombs, so explode. Yeah, whatever. You don't need oil <laughs> just for the fire. You don't need the fire. Oh, okay. Bye bye. I'm ready. Excellent. Bye -bye. So as the as the battle heats up. Captain Vex is using the terrain to his advantage. He's kind of swinging around from stalls and pull, pulling debris uh, with his uh, ties to block the to block the lion dude. He's like Spider Man with ties right now. <laughs> oh shit! Like Doctor Octopus. Yeah, like you just see like him like wrist out and then just a whole bunch of ties fling out and like. He's just hurling rocks and stuff at him. Uh, keeping his distance, uh, making sure to not let uh, the lion dude get too close, because, like, that's a, that's like easily 300 pounds of fat and muscle and a whole lot of I don't want to fuck with that. Right. M meanwhile, a as uh, on the receiving end of this fight, the lion guys, you can see him getting visibly frustrated by Captain Vex's evasive tactics. And he just unleashes like a massive deafening roar that as he just kind of like, you can even see and hear like various, uh, like some of the roof tiles shaking. Uh, and his his crew is like cheering him on uh, more and more in the in the background. Uh, as Snyder notices the the small uh, number of uh, crew around the uh, vice captain uh, Woodrow, the Beaver dude, still calm. Hmm. 
Can I make an insight check? Oh, uh, just like yes. Or would that be like another perception to look closer That's and so see cute. like? Well, you've already picked on like it the... up on it with perception, so I'll allow an insight check. Thinking like maybe there's earplugs or something to not get that effect. Shit. Hmm. <laughs> you're you're just kind of looking at them and you're puzzled. You're like, you know that something's not right, but you can't quite put your finger on it, hmm. and that makes you more suspicious. As the fight uh, continues, you, you see Captain Vex is keeping his distance. He's using his... Uh, uh, he's pulling, like, various things into the path of the uh, lion dude as he's uh, making his escape. And it's just... It looks like the most obnoxious thing to fight. Kind of like uh, in those chase scenes in movies where someone's just, like, throwing a bunch of garbage in their... Uh, to the side as they're running past and just creating just an absolute mess. Parkour. Okay, so he's a very evasive fighter. Interesting. Yeah, and he unleashes a few whip attacks at the at our lion uh, dude uh, in the process. And then moving back to you guys. Okay. Yeah, so I think I'm going to start it off here. I'm going to have my dragon drop bombs on the captain and whatever the biggest group is that I can hit of his people. Yeah, so these two are effectively moving all over the uh, the area. Mm -hmm. So it, it's like shifting all over the Are those the, the two captains right here? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I want to I drop one here. Yeah, because the, the, the crew members are staying put. They, they know better than to get in the way of this, because some, mm -hmm. some of the older crew members remember what happened the first time. Yeah. And then I'm going to turn to Akisu. As I, as I command my dragon to do his whooping drop, I'm going to go, now, attack this side. All right, so I'll load up uh, this one... Shrapnel vial, and I will let you know it... that once you do that, you guys will be mm -hmm. uh, you two will be entering initiative. Yes, which okay. I'll then I'll have to actually put together an actual initiative. Well, go uh, ahead and prep it. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that's all good. It's all good. Actually, um, yeah. I'm gonna attack this guy. Wait, who's this? He's just one of their crew. Oh, okay. He big crew man. He looks big. I'm gonna attack him. <laughs> I'm gonna move Snyder out of the way so I can just like what easily. You wanna hit? Uh, cause your thing has an AOE. Yeah, go for it. I think you wanna hit like as many. Oh, as okay, many. yeah. Actually, I had a quick idea for I think advantage. It's like a ten for AOE or Oh yeah. Uh, I was thinking since I was like right here, using my uh, double fruit to teleport up to over here. Ooh, okay, okay. Nice. Oh, oh, that's a crit. Um, and then hold on, hold on. I have lock on. Yeah, you add a D. Ah. Okay, so just add two to it. Yeah. Um, add uh, another die to your uh, damage. What? Which one? Actually, like, uh, wait. What's the damage for it? So, okay. Hold on. So the lock on damage is two. You got a crit on the roll to hit. So then you roll for your damage with your sling. And then it's what, like a D4 or D6 fire damage? Okay, so that's a 2D8 right there. So add 16 to your damage. So I have 26 damage? Yes. Nice. And then it's what, like a... Did you do the... Uh, yeah, because that was a explosive that was a big old crit, right? Yeah. 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 So it was on this guy. And yeah. it should have hit the guy behind him, too. Yeah. And this guy, too, I think. 
Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm hitting the combat shit. Holy. You're taking your uh, full turn in action before they do. Because mm -hmm. that was a sneaky maneuver. And then I also want to uh, drop my bombs. If I drop it here, do I hit all three? Yes. Okay. And then I want to do the other one like here. Okay, so I don't have it do like a like a flyby swoop like. Okay, hey Tango, so... do you think it's beneficial to tell Big Joe to do something? Because I still have the bonus action for it. Uh, maybe on the next round. Okay. Okay, so uh, Tonga, roll for your damage, because I would imagine you are timing the these attacks together. Yeah. So what would I roll? Just a uh, what is it, two d six or something like that? Yeah. Um, and then they have to make their deck saves because they're around it, not getting hit directly. Two d six. Those are failures. Is it? Is it two d six for each one, or two d six together? Uh, to each of them. Okay. And only one succeeded on the uh, deck save, and that would be uh, not Kiara, and she just kind of like steps to the side. Who? Uh, one of the uh, uh, the vice captain for the Time Man Pirates. Huge initiative. <laughs> All right. Now I just gotta lure that. So you dealt like what four damage uh, with that attack? Uh, seven, seven and four. Yeah. Okay, so seven damage. That one was hit there. Twenty-five. Yeah, so it's funny. As soon as Snyder teleports over there, you like land next to my little dragon. It like looks to you, nods, flies off, and you see it airdrop the two bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, okay, I'll take that as a yes. He's like, is that the signal? Go. <laughs> All right. And is Snyder going to be entering combat too? Oh. Uh... Sure. Why not? Okay. Uh, what are you going to do as uh, as you're unnoticed in this surprise round? Um. Let's do. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take my pistol and. Hmm. I'll take a shot at this guy right over here. Okay, okay. Yeah. That man. Okay, and... Roll to hit and roll for damage. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so... Akisu effectively just deleted a couple of these guys. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so... I, they just I don't think died I... to a fucking shrapnel bomb to the face. Like... <laughs> That's one. Yeah. Oh, that one. I got a nine. I do not believe I hit. <laughs> that is a miss, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, that I would <laughs> like, oh, been. shit. <laughs> <laughs> and... Akisu did damage uh, Woodrow. Woodrow's like over here, right? No. 
Oh, I, is this Woodrow? No, uh, the uh, little white face one because I oh because I was lazy and never took the time to actually put his his oh. token thing on there on his sheet. I thought it was just another minion. <laughs> <laughs> well, that and, was on purpose. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and you deleted the guy next to him too. <laughs> the oh, dude man. just next to him just fucking. Shit, both of the dudes next to him just fucking died. Yeah. So you He's you're, like, the fuck? So you oh, damaged man. the vice I'll captain like, and the first I'm like, mate. Oh, hide, quick. <laughs> and took took out a couple people. <laughs> and now you guys are all in the official initiative. Oh yeah. But does he does he know it was us? He what? Because after we've done that, we would have scrambled to the back of the. Uh, give me a stealth down. check. All right. You're like, hee, hee, hee. <laughs> <laughs> or at least I would have, and I would have probably like dragged Tonga with me. <laughs> I never moved. <laughs> okay. I telepathically Between. tell my dragon to drop the stuff. That he looks around. He doesn't see you, but he knows that somebody's there. Oh. Yeah. They're in the goddamn trees. <laughs> All right. Does, but does he know it's he like this roof. roof? Does he know it's this roof? He looks in that direction, but he doesn't. Oh, okay. He doesn't see you up there. Okay. Does he see Tonga? Because Tonga said he didn't move. <laughs> Was Tonga hiding previously? Yeah. I said I would have like grabbed him and dragged I was him with me. Previously. But... Okay, uh, Tonga. What was your stealth check? Um, I think it's like a 16. Okay, yeah, then you're good. You're good. Okay, so next in combat order is that. Uh, well, that guy's already deleted. He's out. <laughs> this is good. Now Woodrow's gonna be like, oh, oh shit, I gotta get in there. <laughs> oh, this guy. Okay, this guy is just like. Looking around, like, holy shit, bombs just dropped behind him and his buddies. And he's going to be looking around, trying to figure out what, what happened. And everything's so confusing, he has no clue. So he charges forward and attacks this dude. For that, some damages... And, yeah, he, he kills that guy outright. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Is that part of the zoo pirates? Yep. This guy? Yeah, the minions no, are no, killing the, each other. This guy is the part of the Thai pirates, and he just killed one of the oh, zoo he... pirates. Okay, okay. So, that guy's yeah. out. Yeah, the minions fight each other. <laughs> That one's dead, so like, right, see if I can remove him. There we go. Next is Akisu. Again? Yep. Uh, you had a surprise right <coughs> rolled good on initiative. Oh, yeah. So, hey, since I'm not in initiative, can I just, like, move to the other side? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, since you're not okay. in initiative, you can move as you need to. So I'll, like, go You'll have to make a new ahead. stealth check as you do. Okay. But you're so good so at I'll stealth. I'll tell you where I'm moving, that, and you tell me. Okay. Well, I think you. Hmm. Given all your so dash actions, I'm, I'll say like, uh, hold on. I need the measure. Uh, so you tell me how many rolls I got. Okay. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, you can get all the way over there with yeah, one dash. Like, I, I went around though so it would be more you'd be basically in the back alley behind the building where akisu and tonga are not quite up to oh, right the, that building up there yet like right here yeah because like you have high movement speed plus dashing and being a rogue you can double dash so yeah that gets you that okay. far even with going around and then next comp turn of combat i'll be able to move again yep Okay. And uh, let me just uh, see a stealth roll. Okay. 
Because you're, you're taking advantage of all the chaos that's been going on here. So I'd even give you advantage on that because of all the chaos. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me reward I mean, 18 is pretty good. <laughs> Could be better. Can I, um... 19. On, on the spider, <laughs> 19. Can I just have my familiar give him the help action? Uh, you know what? Uh, on his next uh, turn, yes. Okay. That, that'll that be, like, his part in this. Yeah, because, like... Yeah, that, that makes Wait, sense. Wait, is Snyder in the mission? Yeah, he is. Yeah, Sorry. he is, he is. Okay. Um, I'm gonna whisper to Tonga, you think I should do the vial of oil now? Yeah, do it on the Thai Pirates. The captain? Uh, no, not the captain, the other guys. Which do ones on are the Thai Pirates? Is it these guys? The yeah, the, yeah, the, the ones left on the left-hand side. So the on ones the... with the circle token. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and these ones. Do it on the, the vice captain of the Tiber. Wait, where's the vice captain? Do I know the vice captain? Yeah. The vice captain. Right yeah, you got the vice captain and the first mate, which are the two that were right next to the captain initially. Yeah. The, the gangly yeah, man and guys? the and the tall, dark haired woman. These two guys? Yes. Are, are you like Huh? I don't know how to click. Can you guys see me click this? Uh, just hold and click the left key. Oh, is this guy like this guy? These people part of it? Uh, those are. Are they just random civilians? Uh, they're random people. All right. Okay. So everyone in the square is who we need to worry about. Yeah. Yeah, because there, there's random skirmishes happening all around the city. This fucking. Wolf man over here, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, the time man got a whole bunch. Wolfman, Mom. <laughs> we love. Yeah, anyway, um, you should attack the vice. This, this is this the vice or is this the first mate? That's the vice. Okay. All okay. right. So let's see. Rawr. Rawr. Yeah. <laughs> I actually yeah. have art for her too. Or to hit oh, with the oil and then the damage is six and then my lock on yeah I'm gonna put uh, art of what uh, the vice captain looks like in the chaps for you guys okay. so I did 12 damage mm. she kinda assuming a 14 hits <laughs> huh? Oh, true. Well, he was busy. I figured I might as well just do it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's fine. That's fine. I just got to. Does a fourteen hit? <laughs> I don't think it does, but I have to look. At, ah! I have to look at her stat block real quick, which uh, it, it's in here. It, it's it's in here. Let's see. Pokemon that... <laughs> Can you post it? <laughs> okay. In the Discord. I'm looking. Yeah. Hey, you should think. <laughs> hey, yo. Okay, her AC is... Uh, yeah, that, that doesn't She does look like a Pokemon gym leader. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Like, anyway, after, that's after, after getting the art uh, for her, like I was like, oh, I hope she don't die. I kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, kid. I don't know why you have a lighter, but I'll take it. <laughs> I gotta go pee. <laughs> does a 14 hit? I have to know. It, it does not. Ah, so where does the oil go? Everywhere. <laughs> it's not on her? It, it, it covers a 10 foot square. So it covers her area. It's just it doesn't hit her directly. So she's not covered in it. She's just surrounded by it. Yeah, no, like it, it does cover her. It's just she doesn't get hit directly by it. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. You see, that's all my plan was. Yeah, just she's yeah, not taking she's not taking damage. Gotcha. She's like some bird just shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> Does she think that? Does she think she just got shot on by a bird? I, I don't think so. <laughs> what does she think? Tell me. She's does like, she actually like notice? Uh, yeah, she does notice, and she kind of like looks oh. around, and she's like. Oh, 
Uh, she's she's very taken aback by it because that's a nat one. <laughs> What's a nat one? Uh, oh. Her her perception. Oh, she's like what the fuck. She she's like anyway. She um... blindly avoids it, but it's just like when she looks around. She's trying to figure out where it came from because her attention has been fully fixated on her captain the entire time. She's like, "Did I have oil in my pocket or something? Did I pee myself? <laughs> Did a pen explode?" <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, I want to use my bonus action to give Big Joe a command. Ooh, what Big Joe, Joe. doing? I don't know. I think maybe attack Woodrow since he's right there. But also oh, maybe right. attack this guy back here. <coughs> yeah. But then he might die. What else is he supposed to do? Is he just supposed to watch? You can just chill I mean, there, yeah. I mean, you can kind of keep him on But what's the point of getting an attack dog if he doesn't attack? Well, why would he be the only one to attack without us? Where He's not. I'm attacking. Well, like front line, you know? Yeah. I mean, what else can you do? Attention on him, and I'm scared for Big Joe. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say for like maybe wait until I go in with him. Yeah. Okay. Like Big Joe's the kind of attacker where it's just like you go in with him because he really shines with pack tactics. Okay. Yeah. Damn, he's not a good pet for me then, because I'm always a uh, ranged. <laughs> Well, at the same time, he's a good hunting dog because, like, once he he bites into something and uses his ability to slow them down. Yeah, like if you needed to snipe something, you could be like, "Go get it," and then he'll like lock it down for you. Or if something's trying to run away. Yeah, yeah. like uh, he is a good dog for you in that regard because, like, it oh, okay. you very much become the hunter. <laughs> it's like the stasis ability from fucking Breath of the Wild. Yeah. And my next round is I'm probably going to jump in here, so that'll be good. Yes. How? Okay. So one of these squares is five foot, right? Yeah, right. right. Is it, and you said the co the oil covers ten feet? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. going to have to put a square there, actually. Yeah, I would put a square or something. The ten foot radius, right? That's right. Yeah, which would be that. Well, if I was aiming for her, wouldn't it be a little bit more to the, um... It should right? be centered on her. Yeah, she'd right. be in the middle of it. Yeah, let me just, uh... Well, that's token controls. Drawing controls. I, 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 that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> hmm. Where'd a movie thing at? <laughs> you go to, uh, select... Ah, there it is, it. there it is. I, I got it. That's better. I... Okay, so, I guess that's my turn then. That red square is like that, and now I'm going to have her yeah. make a deck save. She's good. She hasn't slipped yet. But if she does slip, she'll fall prone. Nice. Okay. Next up in combat... Do -do -do Big Joe! He's kind of <laughs> like... <laughs> He's waiting in the side, kind of eyeing down uh, the opposition, waiting for the word. You just see a, a slight wag of his tail <laughs> as he does so. And he doesn't even bark that much. Nope, he's not doing anything. Okay, now we're up to uh, Vice Captain Knot. And she is. She's kind of pissed. You got oil all over her clothes. There's, she's in a slippery spot. So let me just look at her stat block here. Yeah, she's going to... If she's like the vice captain or whatever, she probably also has a bounty, right? Oh yeah, she does. Yeah, we're going to tie up the main... Multiple bounty? Yeah. That's why we're killing the minions. I have yet, uh, full disclosure, I've I haven't thought about what her bounty is supposed to be. I'll have to figure that out later. Well, think <laughs> about right. it. One million thousand dollars. All right. So you also have to start thinking about what our bounties are going to be after this. It's so I, real. I actually have, and oh, okay. 
that was one of the earliest things. Uh, oh, <laughs> not why you have to be like this. She what she do? She slips and she goes to take a step to get out of the grease and slips and falls prone. <laughs> <laughs> Give her Stopping of her ass cheeks. <laughs> turn soon. I need to light this bitch on fire. <laughs> she's just, she's just sitting there, all thick and covered in grease. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the one that shot. Well, she's all thick and covered in oil. I'm just laughing to myself. Snyder's up there, like, yes, fall, stay there. <laughs> like Die. she's trying to move, but. <laughs> No movement will do. And that she she spends her turn trying to get back up and fails. I'm Get sorry. Right. <laughs> don't be. This is good for us. I feel bad for her. <laughs> nah, I don't feel bad at all. This is going. The fucking right. uh the first mates over there are like what the fuck are you doing? I wish I had range. Options, <laughs> but this is good. Oh, I could throw the fucking bombs on my turn. Yeah. Why didn't you? It would be funny. Yeah, I gave you two of them. Uh, oh, you so toss them. There we go. That's what I wanted. So can this... I like hand Tonga my slingshot? I don't think no, he's, cool. he's not professional. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> okay, so this guy moves over here, and he's taking a shot at one of the zoo pirates. And let's see They're here. They're gonna get you, Snyder. They're uh, gonna see you. He missed yeah. this completely. Yeah. <laughs> he did more damage to the to the to the zoo than the... <laughs> uh, the guy that got shot at is uh you recognize him as one of the uh vice captains of the of the zoo pirates, the the bird looking dude. And he flies straight up. 30 feet in the air. Oh, no. oh damn. We gotta take all these out. buildings. Yeah, how tall is this building? 25. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, even if we're on the other side, he probably saw us, right? Okay. He probably um, see one except Big Joe and Chibi. Mm -hmm. So and he Snyder? looks around oh, okay. and he sees Snyder poised Good. to attack. And he hones in on him because that's the only person he notices with that botched perception check. Nice. So we're still good, Tango. Which one is he? Uh, I'm surprised guy. he didn't see us. Okay. You're oh. on the back side anyway. Yeah, but if he jumped 35 feet and this building is only 25 yeah, feet. Perception. Yeah, this guy, yeah, can, this guy can straight fly. He wasn't looking like behind him. All right. Yeah. So, what's your AC? Okay. Uh, fifteen. Okay, so I, I I take it a nine does not hit. <laughs> okay, that that is good. Unfortunately, he has a second attack. Oh god. And you said your, you said your uh, AC was what fourteen? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. He he lunges straight at you, it, it, with his large, <coughs> his massive beak, and like you just barely uh, like kind of parry it away. He's and he's like ah. So you're the one throwing bombs around here. Oh, uh, I I, <laughs> I mean I, I wouldn't do bombs, but I I did take a shot. <laughs> I'm gonna drag you Don't so far up in the, the air and drop you till you hit the pavement. Can't he fly? <laughs> Snyder can teleport, but this guy doesn't know that. He also doesn't know that I have feather falling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, this I mean, he is a... did survive Perfect falling match. from Skypea. Exactly. <laughs> as far as this guy's concerned, like he, he doesn't know any of that. So this is the most <laughs> benign threat that can be given to Snyder. Snyder's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. Again? Sure, oh. bro. Falling oh, no. to the sky another time wouldn't hurt. <laughs> then <laughs> and fall you shall. And then like that's his turn. 
happen now? Devil mm. fruit user. So, as you uh, see him, he just kind of, he seems like he's had enough. So he, he shouts loudly, Tai Tai Festival! And he places Festival. both of his hands uh, on the ground. And my wife is calling me. Damn. <laughs> just, just right during the hype. Just hold on a moment. <laughs> Can't you see I'm announcing an attack? <laughs> yes, an anime style attack. Don't you know the number one rule of anime? Don't interrupt during a, a transformation. Yeah, but it also takes three hours for any anime attack to finish, so... It's true. I swear, I've watched, like, fucking four episodes of Kaido's fight, and only, like, two things have happened. Four episodes? That is too much episode. That's just the beginning. Yeah, that's ridiculous. The animation is so good, though. Can't you guys just talk or something? <laughs> That's what they do. That's why it's taking so damn long. They're just talking. Kaido's like, I'm about to kick your ass. You're gonna die soon. And they don't <laughs> die. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> so, he places his uh, hands to the ground and shouts loudly, Tai Tai Festival! And you just see, like, an entire, like, just a big old tent of ties, like, as they burst forth from the uh, ground around and just create, like, a, this whole tent-like structure uh, around the, uh, uh, against the zoo captain. Hi, bro, Mike. And it's just, like, it be, right, you yeah. see them kind of weave around, becoming thicker right, and thicker. Sounds good, though. And... <laughs> You, you, you kind of you hear muffled, furious uh, scream, uh, shouts and roars from inside. Who's inside? The, the zoo captain. Oh, okay. I didn't know if there was more people. I didn't know how big it was. Yeah, he is uh, put. I'm gonna have to put another little thing on the map. Good thing. Yeah, we got this I should have covered him in oil. <laughs> now I can't get to him. It's there. cool. They're losing. We need to get the other side. <laughs> They're losing? Yeah, we killed a lot of them. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Are the captains aware that their people are just dying around them? They're more concerned with each other. Alright. Yeah, right, Let's keep it that, that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's put everything into this one attack. And you guys aren't sure what's going inside going on inside this uh, massive cocoon of ties? I don't want to know. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to know. <laughs> it's like a snake's mate. In the pent, I know where this is going. Is, is the tie captain in there too, or is it just... It's the, the tie captain, captain that's in there. Both of them? There's only one captain. There's two captains. The zoo and the tie captain. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, you just hear furious ripping and snarls from inside, but... Nice. Nothing comes of it. He hasn't come out yet. Okay. And this is actually a good chance for me to just pop on some of the damage he's received. Right. Okay, so the Tide Pirate guy is... I'm like the stronger of the two. He's very good at keeping things at range. Mm. And now his uh, gangly uh, first mate right here mm -hmm. is just kind of like moving up uh, close. And he takes he takes out a, a one of the ties that uh, was from one of his uh, pockets and it's kind of cocked up like a like a not exactly a 90 degree angle like a boomerang and he takes mm -hmm. it and he chucks it at one of the zoo pirates dealing well, of course I gotta see if it hits yeah it hits 
Yes, child. Dealing six damage. And then next up. With a command from a Woodrow, the guys that were all chill and calm retreat. Hmm. So Interesting. He retreats. Woodrow just kind of dashes away. What? He's such a coward. What? Pussy. Anytime, like literally, the few times we've interacted with him, and things get like real, character. he just fucking right. dips. <laughs> I'll cover him later. Fuck him. <laughs> Wait, so how far is he? Where is he? Who? Woodrow? The beaver? Is he already gone? He he left. Damn. If you look on the, he's yeah, he's far away. He's like over there. Yeah, he's. Oh, I had it zoomed out. Damn. Can I reach him? No, because I'm. I'm not. I won't okay. even bother. Well, just, you're not an initiative, so you could have been moving this whole time. Yeah. I gotta wait till the end of the. Uh, and okay, well, everybody this goes. guy. But you're not an initiative. But it's time wise. Oh, well, you're coming in next round, next minute, round. So. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It still matters. This guy goes to attack, and as he goes, uh, raises his hand to swing his sword, you can kind of see it fly out of his hand. Wow. And he's like, and then he just kind of like looks at the tie pirate in front of him, like, "Hey!" <laughs> Rude. Yeah, he's like, "Eh, I'm screwed." <laughs> Back to Tonga. And What's she doing, okay. with Tonga? I'm going to throw those bombs. Yeah, I'm Do gonna it. move here. And I'm going to. I think I have. Well, it looks like my family's come home and taken over the, the space here. So I think starting with Tonga and Initiative. Okay. That's a good place to end it and uh, pick up next week. I have, I have a great pick idea. Game. Don't forget it. I have a fantastic idea. And you, you, yeah, and you write it down. You'll, you'll have a whole week to take that idea how, and make it like the best it idea. Right now. Whoa, <laughs> All right. And thanks to everyone who's uh, joined us for this wild episode of uh, all the fruits of. Uh, our crew's labor coming together. Things are looking suspicious. Uh, we got calm people. Woodrow's running away. It, it, it's quite a time. And we'll catch up next week. Bye bye. My mind. My DC shouldn't Thanks for joining us on this wild DD &D adventure. We hope you had as much fun as we did. And if you're itching for more One Piece DD &D or Nerd Militia Chaos, make sure to hit up our YouTube channel for all the latest shenanigans. Stay connected with us on Twitter at the Nerd Militia Zero for all the spicy updates. And if you're feeling generous or just want to keep us caffeinated, swing by our link tree and Patreon. Your support keeps the madness going. Until next time, adventurers, stay nerdy, stay awesome.